Welcome to Life is Spiritual presents Real Life Testimonies. My name is Baba Zion, and as usual, I'm here with my beautiful wife, Erika Mukisakimani, aka Mama Maisha, or Mami Zion and Zef. Amen. And we thank God for the gift of another opportunity to share another wonderful, life changing testimony with you. And as you can see, I'm here with a very wonderful minister of the Lord. Her name is Regina. I'll allow her to introduce herself. Yeah, praise the Lord, everyone. I thank God for this another chance that he has given to me. Yes. I am Apostle Regina from Roiro. Uh, I minister under Bishop Eric Singema from Uganda. He's a missionary, but because of some issues about certificate, I have to be under him. So I thank God because of everything that he has done and also to bring me here to witness to you what the Lord has done and also that God has never left his people. And we, you, I know you will be blessed with this testimony about the devil's kingdom. Uh, and I know be there waiting, just subscribe these channels, Life Spiritual Ministry, I think somehow like that. Yes. Just subscribe <laughs> and God will continue to bless you. Yes. Amen. I think we should start with a word, with a of, word of prayer. prayer. Yeah. Amen. Abba Father, who are Elohim, we honor your name, we glorify you, we thank you for the gift of life and for the gift of another day. We ask that your Holy Spirit would administrate this broadcast and we apply the blood of Jesus upon every viewer, spirit, soul, and body. We declare there shall no evil befall them. Neither shall any plague come near their dwelling. A thousand shall fall at their side, 10,000 at their right hand, but it shall not come near them. Only with their eyes will they see and behold the reward of the wicked. We pray that the name of Jesus may be glorified and that the church may be edified and encouraged and inspired and that they may see a way out and that way has a name and his name is Jesus. And so we honor you, Abba Father, and may your word and your will proceed as she continues to share her testimony that your people may be blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Apostle, feel free to share. Yes, you're oh, welcome. Thank you. Yes, thank you. and family, I just advise you get your notebook, mm -hmm. pen, your Bible. Amen. So, thank you so much for welcoming me to this channel. I have seen it through YouTube, but I didn't they think even thought one day I could be here. So, even to be here is a testimony to me. So thank, I thank God for everything. I want to share with you my testimony. I don't know where to start because I have been facing a lot because God called me a minister by grace. Like the way Paul say, I was called, he was called because he was not chosen by people. Yes. Because if it were people who choose me today, I could not be here. So I thank God a lot for this far. Uh, let me start by where I, I was born. I was born in Thika and, uh, and uh, by my parents. And we grown up there with my brothers. We were 13 in our family. And five of them were gone. Now I think we are like 10. So I, we lived in the village and we were brought up there. We went to school like any other child yeah. from class one to class eight because uh, in our home we were very poor so nobody could go to to class to either form one or, or form two but i tried my best and i i, I realized i have something oh god has already blessed me with the knowledge even if i was young remember that i am i am the ninth in my family and i noticed something is wrong how could everyone be reaching class eight and could not move on mm. so i understand that that my small age i have to cut that cord and i i prayed i was a very very prayerful girl I was praying and praying and praying. So, and I tell God, I don't want to, to even to reach on class eight. I wanted so much to, to go to, to higher levels of form one, form two, and form three. So, 
At that time, when we finished class eight, uh, I, my mom was very sick because she was a diabetic and pressure woman. So at that time, because we were supported by people who could give us something, this and this, bribe and to feed. So because my father had already died since 2003. So at that time, I was still young. I was in class six. Uh, and if I, when I finished class eight, I, I did because uh, in my home when you finish class 8 mm -hmm. and you have to go either to a house girl or look for a job to do because yeah. your mother was also not concentrating with you because of he was sick, she was sick mm -hmm. and uh, the family member were also still needed, they could not take you somewhere. So I decided I will continue with the schooling and I have to, to go and mix myself with the chocola so that we will connect, we, I'll, I was collecting some materials, metals mm -hmm. everywhere. Then at that time, I, I started to pay my school fees from Form 1 to Form 3. That, uh, wh that is when I was in Form 4 and I met a guy who the guy wanted to, to befriend me. And at that time is the time that I met that guy. I didn't know anything because uh, there area before I had, I have never heard of a boyfriend or anything. I was still like that. So at that time, that is the time I, I did not continue with my education because the guy, I, I, get, I get pregnant. Then I have to go back to my mother. Remember my mother, we have another big brothers who are who are who are younger than me my elder brothers so because i am in the ninth in my family the one who are the, the elder the the first born those are the ones that they did not want me to to see me to uh, close my mom they say every time you are giving mommy pressure coming here with a kid so it was a miserable life that i lived there and and one of my brother took me where he was in mombasa and they planned with uh, their wife with her wife that they will sell me to an old man so at that time because i wanted to feed I, it is in mombasa i don't know at that time they have taken me to a, a centered village Mm -hmm. It is called Mwanza. It is in Likoni. That place, no food, no whatever. When my my nini, the, my sister, my brother's wife will cook food, he could not give me. He tell me there is an, an old man who is coming to pick you. And you know, if you are not being picked by this old man, you go with him, you won't have food to eat. And I decided, yes, I'm going with this man, but... I don't know what to do now because sometimes I have to go because of my kid. Uh, I was still breast feeding and they could not have pity uh, about me. And at that time, I, I, I realized ah, these are things I'm doing. Even this man is now trying even to hurt me more. He wants to damage me in every area because he doesn't want the, 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 normal, the normal thing that we do. So I was very, very, very angry and I decided now I look for my own way to come out from that mze and from my brother's brother's house. Uh, I know you will watch my my channel there. There is a testimony that I gave where I was a prostitute in Mombasa for six good years before God called me in a ministry. So that is the time that I I became and I say because life is not working. I have tried to go to school. Now the school has been cut short because I I one really wanted to be an army, and at that time that army that I was expecting, it, it was like it has gone. Mm -hmm. So I decided uh, to go and uh, to stay with my friends. Then there was another girl there in Likoni who introduced me to prostitute. And he asked me because you don't have, it's like you are orphan, you don't have somebody to take care of you, your brother is, has told you to go away, you have a kid, I'll show you where you will you will give your nini. Uh, there, is, there is a woman that they told me that he can take care of my my boy. That time my, my firstborn was very young, six months, I think so. So I could left him here, there. Then I will go at night. I work as a prostitute. I sell myself. Then in the, in the morning sometimes, even I could leave my child in the house. 
uh, sometimes we could organize with the, the owner, with the, the, the prod caretaker who was taking care to come and open the door for me at maybe five o'clock night when I'm coming back. But remember that I have gone there to the club, but my, my child is alone in the house. So life continued like that. But when I was in the Nini, in this in this work of prostitute, I have got so many pastors also that I worked with them. Now I'm trying to highlight because the story is deep. Yes. Uh, because I have that testimony in Kiswahili in YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to highlight so that we can reach to the point where I want to give a testimony. Yes. So at that time, I had I had met fake pastors who I could work with them when I was a prostitute. There is one pastor that I met. Uh, he has built a very big church in Mombasa. Uh, that pastor asked me whether I will be bringing people who will be lying the, uh, about testimony, who will be saying, faking the cripple, faking whatever miracles. And I organized for him each and every Thursday I could bring six people, Sunday six people. So each and every person that I brought there to the church to witness of something that is not there, or to fake miracle, he will give be giving me 500 Kenyan shillings. So each and every when Thursday and Sunday, I knew that I'll be getting 3,000, 3,000, that is 600, 6,000 per, per week. 6,000 per week. And you know, selling yourself and also getting this money, you compare which is the best you see, it's rather I get this one from the pastor. <laughs> rather than, <laughs> because they are, yeah, at night when you are there outside, it's very cold. Sometimes you will go with a person, he won't pay you. Some will throw you from the yaka. You understand? So I see it better working with the pastor. I won't mention his name because of of some privacy and security, my security purpose. Yes. So that pastor, we have worked with him for one year. The, the church continued to be growing. But there is a time that he noticed that these people will come to to even to, en to enclose what the pastor is, is doing. So he told me, he called me and uh, told me that, you know, Angela, now I'm going. At that time, I was Angela. Because I, I I was not giving my name to everybody. Yeah. It was the, the name of the club. Yeah. So I was called Angela. So and Angela was the name for making money. Yeah. I wanted so much to be called Angela. Mm -hmm. I didn't know why, but at that <laughs> time I changed my name and tell them I'm Angela. Yes. So the pastor consulted me and he just called me in the office. Because each time that I could line myself in the office, people were lining to see the pastor. But to me, I was lining for pastor to pay me money so that I will pay the other people, those I have brought. Oh. So even because they used to see me each and every Sunday on the line, then the, I met, I, I, the pastor was already knowing that when Angela come into my office, it's only money and going. So mm. sometimes even people were excusing me the line because they know, ah, this girl don't stay for long when he enter to the pastor. <laughs> yeah. huh? But comes. they didn't know it is because of money. Yeah, yeah I, I see that he has placed my money in the envelope. envelope. It's only just to give me and tell me, go and pay them. So that is what we, we usually we, we were doing with that pastor. So after he noticed that so many people will now coming to know what he is doing, he told me, you know, me, I have to go to Nigeria. And uh, he was introduced by another pastor. So he will go and look for that demon for prophecy. Oh. The, the, when he told me like that, I asked them now. I asked him now, what am I going to do? He tell me, you know, this was a contract, and since now I I have got what I want, I will go to Nigeria. Then we will come and talk back. After the pastor had come, he came with a bowl of oil. The oil, whenever people were in the queue and were on the line, he could touch the the need the oil, and he could mention anything, prophesy anything about that someone. Even me, I, I, I also allege myself in the line. And he told me that God has anointed you. That the time you will accept to serve Jesus is the time that your shameless, shameless life will come out from you. You will not live a shameful life. Uh -huh. The time you will accept Christ. Yeah. But remember this a demon, they cannot allow you to serve God. Yes. It is a demon telling you. <laughs> because that oil, he came with it from Nigeria. Yes. At that time, so they, he, he connected to that pastor and they were together. He tried now to kill me. 
because uh -huh. I knew the secret of the church. Mm -hmm. At that time, I, I decided to learn away from the, the crabs where he used to see me. Because in my dreams, I, I could see him trying to come, trying to send people to kill me. And I noticed uh -huh. that he killed his... There was another man that they have, uh, they were in church together, so they were ministering together. The, like it is, the, the, they have agreed they minister as one member in the church, but together. But the, that man, there was a night that man was, was Nunil, he was found dead. Oh. So I realized, this, now I know that he's all secret about the man. Yes. And he wanted to kill me. That time in my dreams, I could know that this man is is just looking for me to kill me, even physical. So I noticed because the, the, the guy, the pastor knew my house, he knew where I live because we used to, to go with that pastor to my house, do whatever we want, then go back, we plan how many people I'm going to bring. Uh, sometimes I could look for even chokura, I tell them to wash, to be clean. Then at that time, I'll take them to church because it is very, very hard to convince a normal person also. Yes. So I have to look for, for these drug abuse people, those mm. who carry the nini, the luggage from the ferry to the other side. Those people, if they hear it is 500, it was much to them because sometimes they used to get 20. Yes. So at that time, I, I, I didn't con concentrate with that business. I just left it and God was the one taking care of me now. So So I decided now I'll go back to prostitute because now I don't have money. Pastor want to kill me. I don't want Sasa to go back to, to the village or to go to my mom because the, the same thing that if I go back to my mom and he is sick, my brothers will come there and take me out of that place again and look for another place because they were the one who were selling me to an old papa. So I decided now it is my life. And since my, my life has not been better, I have tried it to work. It has not worked. I have tried to, to go and look for all the metals and sell like chokura. Early in the morning, I could wake up and go and scratch all over the firewood where people cook. Mm -hmm. There is and chapati there at Mijengo, and I could look for where to look for needles. Do you see when when a wood has a lot of needle, mm -hmm. when you burn it, it comes out. The mm -hmm. needles will come out. The nini, what the, the nails? Yes. The nails will come out. So I have to go and scratch all those jikos to see whether I'll get nails to pay for my school fees. So at this moment, when it was it was now not working with the pastor. I realized maybe it is my life could be like this because I have tried my best in my family just to cut the coda. I reached from three pregnant. Uh -huh. The minute I reached from three pregnant, and I, wanted, I wanted to be a soldier. I did not make it. Now I have a kid. I want my kid to feed. I want to live well in life. Mm -hmm. This is now prostitution. Mm -hmm. you What see? made you want to be a soldier? You just saw the soldiers. I wanted to be a soldier just like that. <laughs> I wanted so much to be a Mwanajeshi, to be an army. To have power. Yes. Yeah, Kenya, maybe Kenya Navy, Kenya Army, uh -huh. like that. You know, some things I noticed they are connected spiritually. Yes. Because even now, I think I'm that kind of a, of a soldier. Military. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> yes. It, it, it was connected. So I was not. I was not happy. I was angry. I decided to go back now to prostitution, and I worked there. I could meet girls who were telling me now we can go and look for wagangas who can give us evil powers to get these men. And I, I become also friend to wagangas to, to, to those witches, and we were, we were with them, let me say that. Because any time, you know, sometimes wazungus will come to the club. If you are not, you, you, you don't carry those drugs and those medicine from wagangas mm -hmm. and those herbs. These people won't allow, they won't love you. Wagangas are witch doctors. Yes, yeah, they are witch doctors. They're not yes. even doctors, they are witches. They're witches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are witch doctors. So mm -hmm. uh, we, we could organize with them how we will bring them so many men and them also will make us to be known. So I worked, uh, I, I worked in that area for six good years. And the time that I reach and I ask God now, is it your will for me to be here? I have tried my best. I remember at this time now, my, my mom has passed away. 
uh, and we were now alone. Nobody who were caring for one another, nobody, even your uncle don't want to see you, don't know you. Since you were born, even he have never come to, even close to you. You see, you hear that you have another uncle in Lamu, you hear and you have another uncle in which area. But we, I don't know how the family was because the family was not living together. So if your mom died or your father, you will survive alone. So that is the life that I was brought up. And now when I was still there asking myself, where, how will I come out of this prostitution? Then I prayed. At that the time I noticed to pray. I pray and I ask God, Father, if it is your will for me to live here, because now, me, I don't need so many things. I only need a husband and to serve you. That's the thing that I wanted. And I prayed a lot, I prayed a lot. Uh, so there is one day, one day, uh, because I, I just tell God, let your will be done. Even if, because me, I don't know how now to come out of this place alone. You know, there is a place that you can be in. Yes. You are centered there. You want to live, but you can't live with your own strength. Yes. It is like in devil's kingdom. You know, when people hear devil's kingdom, they think it's somewhere you can land with your ex mm -hmm. and walk away. <laughs> you can't walk away because your soul is there. Yes. <laughs> so in this place, my soul was there in prostitution. So I could not walk away. Even if I say today I'm not going, tomorrow I'll find myself there. So I, I ask God, let your will be done. Whatever you will use, anything that you will use to take me out here, I'll be grateful and I will serve you the, the days of my life. Then there is a, a man who came when uh, when we were there at night he came and he say hey angela you are very beautiful girl hey even i want to marry you and it is the first day and i see hey god has brought me somebody to marry me oh. i was very happy and we we shared a lot with the, the guy but i didn't realize the guy wanted to kill me so oh. at that time I, I I took him from the club and we went to my house. The, that time, uh, I didn't realize the, the guy had HIV. Oh. So when we went home, the guy took a, a knife where I do place my plate and my, my utensils. He took a knife and he wanted to kill me. He tell me, remove all your clothes. You people, you are the one who made me like this. I have HIV. I keep crying because of you, prostitute. Now, today, I'm going to kill you. Call, call my mom and ask him as if I'm not a killer. They are trying to look at me everywhere. Hey, at that time, I started just urinating myself, starting thinking, Kai, now, Sasa, I mm. thought it was God. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I didn't have a choice. It's only to, to have whatever he wanted. And I cried a lot. And I asked God, why all this? Why all this? In fact, I, I am like this now. I want to come to prostitute. Then I come HIV. I come with the AIDS. At that time, I cried much. But I was not having somebody to cry for or to cry to. Because everybody, let me tell you, you know, sometimes when you are prostitute or when you are getting, when you have problems, you, sometimes you don't even need money. You need people to be closer to you, people yes. to talk to you, people to even even to have somewhere a shoulder to lean on or yes. to cry to. And you introduce yourself, you say, I'm going this, this. And somebody show you direction, not about money, yes. not about whatever. So imagine the man has done all that and he tell me now you are going to die. And if you try to say and to report, I will kill you. And you have to come out of this Mombasa. I don't want to see you anyhow or anywhere in the club. So, you know, you have to know that uh, in this club is the one that where I feed. I feed my child is where I pay my rent, yeah. going to prostitution. Now it has been cut off. So the next day when I went to the, to the club, I was feeling pain. So I had to go and take my beers, drink beers and leave. But I don't want to go for a checkup. Because I already know I have noticed that this man has woods all over, all over his legs and whatever. And at that time, when I it is it was one day when I went back to the club and I sat down alone, and it was like my eyes were open. I I see, hey, am I, are we worshiping the devil here? Because everything wow. now I see, I see as if we are worshiping the devil. <laughs> I notice how these people are naked. These mm. people are worshiping. 
Why are they worshiping devil? It's like my eyes were open and I had another a, a voice telling me, you are my servant and you have to leave this place. So I continued going like one week hearing the same voice. But the minute that I realized, I, I realized, no, this voice is coming a lot. So I decided now because the man now was looking for me. He was saying if I, he, see, he saw me in the club, he will come and kill me. So I decided, okay, because it is like this, I have to uh, to call someone. I called my friend in a lobby and I asked him, oh, where can I come and, reach and leave my baby? He, asked, he just told me, here yeah, what you do, if you come and leave your baby and go for a house, girl, whatever you are being paid there, you will be paying for your baby. So he just looked for somebody to leave, to stay with my kid. So I, I sold everything, chairs, Whatever I had in Mombasa, I didn't come with anything. I come with the cloth. So I went back to Nairobi. At this Nairobi, I was employed by someone as a house girl. And remember, sometimes people had house girl and they don't know where they have come from. So even to talk nonsense, they will talk, they, even to beat you, even to blame you. Sometimes they don't know you are hiding there because of pain, because of whatever. So... I, I live for one house for allowed one one year. Then that is the time I started work, going to church. And I had a one friend. She was a, a girl and she was she was the one who was usually showing me how to pray, to fast. I decided to pray. I decided to fast. And that time I was being paid 6,000 Kenya money. So I prayed and I was also tithing because... It was a small money, but because now she's showing me how to, to come close to Jesus, I have now to do everything in order for me to come <laughs> to closer to Jesus. <laughs> so yes. even whenever he tell me fast, I will fast. And people uh, under the Nini, the, my empro, employee was not knowing whether, yeah, I mean my boss, uh -huh. he, he did not know whether I'm fasting because I used to, to wake up, do my everything, then I fast. Then at that morning, I'll be doing work fasting because now the lady is telling me it's good to fast, it's good to do what. Uh, then she introduced me to another church in Ka, in Kahawa West, the church of JJ. That's where I, I went. I continued going there for some time because my friend was there. So at that time, I didn't know whether the church which was good or bad or anything. Uh, so I used to go there. And I, I, I learned a lot, and I learned a lot about spirituality, about God through my friend. So any minute that we were going with my friend, he could tell me, oh, what have you dreamt? Uh, it is like this. What, um, what do you want in life? And I, I, I started to feel that something is waking up. I want to be a minister, and it is not something I planned, because if to be a minister, maybe to me, to me, it could be the last option I could have given people because I had a lot. I wanted to be a businesswoman selling car from Dubai to Kenya. It was my vision, yeah, something like that. So I came out from that church uh, at that time. So I prayed God and God gave me another work. I went also to be a housemaid and at Rangata, there was someone who was married by a Mzungu. I stayed there with him. And she was a very, very good woman. She took care of me. She noticed that this girl need to be, to be, I need to be closer to her because I was working very well. And remember the looms were many and he has just employed two ladies. And those two ladies could not work well. Because me, the time that I entered into the house, I noticed it is by God grace I'm here. Mm -hmm. uh, although the, 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 nini, the house was big, I noticed without God, I could not be here. Yes. So I, I decided to give myself to, as a sacrifice to work for him. I worked day and night, day and night. And uh, she, she was very happy with me. And after that time, they were going to Europe with Hamzungu. So she just left me. She, she wanted to go with me, but Hamzungu was not, did not want to go with me because of my child. So later they called me to Europe. Uh, I tell them I don't have any place to leave my kid because I had one boy. And I, I used to leave him in a place, in a plot with another woman. 
and then I will be paying school fees and whatever. So at that time, Mzungu has pressed me with that thousand. And remember that thousand at that time was March because I think it is the year 2020, 2014, 2013, 2012 there. The Mzungu blessed me with that thousand. So I came and I started my own job. I started to sell insects, insect side still I was still playing and at that time I was introduced to another church and that church is where I grew up, it was a village church, it's where I grew, I realized that something, I had something in, you. For, in me. Mm -hmm. So I decided to be committed because I saw pastor doesn't have so many people and also he used to go to work so that he will he, he was a pastor and also a constructor of the houses. Mm -hmm. So he, he could not be able to come each and every time, each and every day church, because he has to work for his family. So I decided I'll be going to church each and every evening with my baby. So at four in the evening up to six, I was committed in the church praying for people, no matter they will come, no matter they don't come. I'm praying for the church. I'm praying for the minister of the church. I'm praying for God's people two hours each and every day. That is the time that I noticed God was speaking to me. God started speaking to me in a, in a loud voice that I could hear, do this, do this. Whenever a person will come now on Sunday, I will notice something. This person is sick, but pastor don't know. This person is undergoing some spiritual attack. The pastor doesn't know. Because, you know, sometimes if you are not supported by your members, or you have to look for food so that you may minister, is also a problem. So I do, I, I was the one who were ministering there. And we continued like that. We continued, and the pastor saw it was good for him to open for me a church. So at that time, I didn't want a church because me, for me, I was not lady. Although Sasa now I have, or there is a part that I have jumped. I came and I, I, I got married. But mm. still to be married, it is like to me, everything is like you have to struggle. A fight, a struggle. You have to struggle. <laughs> Marriage is to struggle. Because I, I cried and at that time I was asking people now if they can get me a job in Mochali. I live there with the dead people. Because here outside I don't see anybody who is good. After coming from the, the place that I told you that I was employed by Amzungu, I came and uh, stayed uh, like two years without being married. I am stressed for now. I'm asking God now. Each and every day I wake up, I go and sell in sex side. Is this the life now that you created me for? Still I'm praying. I don't want to go back. I don't, but I don't get somebody to marry me. The people that will come, they come and joke. They want jokes. They are not ready for marriage. And I could say, okay, whenever God will give me, I will, I will get married. But now, because even my brothers, they, they, were, they were not ready to say that I, I left a prostitute. Each and every time they hear me, they think now I'm also a prostitute. I am the, the person they were, they, they, they were always knowing before. So do you know when you are in something like for six to seven years, people don't understand it is by grace that you are taken out from there yeah. and don't know that it is the heart of God. So they realize the same man that we saw, it is the same. So they left me. They do not not want to hear from me. So I stayed like two years crying alone. I don't have even a parent. Whenever I want to share my own issue, I don't have anybody to share to. I could cry alone with my kid in the house, crying, 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 asking God till when. I wanted also to get married. And I, I, and I see life is very difficult here outside. Now, because now I'm concentrating with God. Concentrating with this God, I don't want to do anything like um, sex before marriage now because I, I, I know now I want Christ to be married. <laughs> <laughs> it was a headache because uh -huh. I was struggling a lot. I, I decided now it is me and God. And I see, hey, life is very difficult when it comes, it is to you and God. Mm -hmm. And nobody is helping you, nobody, you don't have any shoulder to lean on. So at that moment, I decided to ask people whether where I will get a, a job for mortuary. In fact, I was feeling I, I want to live with the dead people because those who, the, the living one, they don't comfort me. <laughs> they talk evil of me. Whenever I talk with a lady, 
at prot they say you know that lady she will take your husband and i'm not in that yeah so i was very desperate because i don't have a mom a mother to go and tell him a story i don't have a mother also to cry on i don't have brother my brothers could i could hear them they are flying from dubai to kenya and they don't want to see me whenever they hear about me they say no eh, we let him die we will buy him a casket even food like this, sometimes I could sleep angry with my, my son. So I decided now, because now life is like this. The other life, it was like that. I wanted to die there. Now this life of Christ, now it is very hard like this. Even those who are saying they are in Christ, they don't comfort you. They talk evil of you. Because those are the mama that I used to know that they will they will encourage me in Christ. And they are the one they are saying that ah, Angela will take your husband. Whenever I speak to people, they say, ah, you know, that one was a prostitute. Uh, be careful with your man. And I decided even to migrate the prot. I went and looked for a very, very small house. And that time is the time that I, I noticed it is like I'm get, growing in depression. And, and I realized I, want, I, I need a job, a mortuary job. I went to KU. Kenyatta Mochari, Kenyatta Mochari, I think it's called so KU. I went there and they told me to apply. Now I don't know the process to apply. And I asked God, what kind of this? <laughs> Every time you are trying this, even the, 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 the job which is bad, they cannot employ you. <laughs> <laughs> what is this round? I, I was feeling very bad because now the, the work that I want, it is bad. And they are asking me now, you must apply, you must have a degree you in must, whatever, this you, and this. You must apply to work with the dead. <laughs> I felt very, very, very bad. In fact, I realized something is wrong. Then I say, okay, all right, let me wait for God. I waited for God, crying, crying, and that is the time that I met my my husband, and he just we we just talked. We didn't take long. In fact, we didn't take long because I was desperate. We just take only two months and we get married to each other, because I, I, me I need somebody to comfort me, somebody to tell me I love you, because like in the whole world I have never had a name I love you. Wow. <laughs> you know, even somebody to tell you I love you, I realize it is very, very important. Very important. Now my husband has come, he started to tell me you are beautiful, you are good, and I, I give him all my soul. <laughs> and my spirit, <laughs> within two months we have got married. <laughs> so at that time, uh, we decided now to go to parent, uh, bra, 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 and to call my uncles. Although even now we have even never finished about wedding and whatever. So, till there, that is the time that I was growing up in the ministry, growing up, uh, and there was this pastor that I told you he wanted to open the church for me because now he was giving me, he, he was testing me through the Bible studies. He could come and give me Bible study, come and give me the church when he is not in, then I could preach, and he had, ah, this uh, something has happened to, to this lady. So I, I grew up like that in the church and uh, there is a time he realized that he can open me a church and I say no. I went because it was not time for God for me to be open a church at that time. Then there is a time that I, I just went and uh, I decided to be, to be at home and praying. Because now, you know, I cannot live with this pastor because whenever he wanted to open the church and I ran away, he, he was not happy. So I just decided I will go back and live at my home and stay at home. So at that time, I was not going to church anywhere. There was one Sunday that I asked God, where now, God, will we be going, me, my husband, and my children? At that time, I had got, uh, got another baby who is she's a girl. So that Sunday, we wake up, we woke up, it was on Saturday, and we, we normally don't go to church for, the, for that time because we don't have a church to go now. So I, I just asked God, I was washing clothes in the bedroom, and I heard the Lord telling me, take one speaker, because we had a car wash. My, my, my husband at that time had a car wash, and he had a speaker to in just to uh to, to i think it is to to any to welcome his people yes. so at that time uh, i took god asked me took one speaker there outside and remember the plot is not mine and uh, it's just we it is a flat 
-hmm. but we live in one room, one bedroom. We were given by my cousin to live there. So at that time, I took one speaker there outside. I, 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 was, I went outside. It was on Sunday now. I have heard that voice on Saturday. On Saturday, I, I, when my husband came back home, I called him and I tell him, my husband, you know, I heard a voice that tomorrow, you will connect me, the speaker and amplifier and whatever you are connecting and the microphone, then I will preach there down. Uh, so on, on Sunday morning, my my husband took all the speaker, he took two speaker, microphone, and he just uh, connected me there. That is how I started my church because I started there. I preached the gospel and I preached because I know I have heard the voice of God. Go and preach there. Go and preach there. I went there, I preached the first day. I see people trying to come close to reason. And I, I just preached like two hours. I, uh, the next Sunday, it was the same. I started now to have a church there down. So uh, the, the church there down, there was this woman that came now. That is where we are going now to the story about the devil kingdom. So there is this woman that came and he was hearing me just crusading there outside with my microphones and he, 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 he one of my friend, one of my friend is the one who introduced me to that pastor and he, he just told me, you know, this is a pastor and you are apostle whenever we, because that time we met, we met with that pastor and we had my, I was having my friend, we were going on the road. I met that pastor, that leveraged. And at that time I met him, I didn't know they are friends with this woman. So they, 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 she introduced us, both of us too. And, and that leveraged will say, ah, is that the woman that I normally used to hear preaching there? Uh, there. They, they agree and they say, hey, why do you want him to live alone? You, we can fellowship together. We can have him as a, and we fellowship together because fellowshipping together will take the gospel far. And me, I didn't have a problem with the fellowshipping because also I, I, I want people to, to hold my hand and show me how to, to go with the ministers also because I'm, I'm new in the ministry. So at that time, there is a day that the, the pastor just organized that we could meet mm -hmm. now meet. to his home. We could meet to his home. Yeah. The minute that we meet to his home, it was a very big house, a good one. Um, and he just tell me, do you see where pastors live? And I say, wow, it's a good house. It's a good place for pastors. And yeah. you know, when you are there, you live in the village alone. Yeah. You will see, hey, this pastor, they know Christ more than you know. <laughs> eh? You realize, hey, they have touched God more than, than I have yes, touched him. Yes, blessed them more than yeah. Yeah. Mm. So I was very happy. And they tell me, if you, you become fellowship with you, these things are very, very cheap for you to get them. You will be having a lot of people also in the church or whatever. But what we need, we need to join together. No minister can work alone. So that's what they told me. And there was a day they tell me, and I, I, I did ask them, where, when, when do we meet for fellowship? Or how do we fellowship? They just tell me we we have we organize a meeting, then we meet and we introduce you to other pastors. Uh, so at that time we uh, I went back home, and the, if the minute I tried to think about the about the meeting, I was getting I I was losing peace. I had something is losing my peace. Mm. The minute that I I remember the woman, peace was going, and I I I thought why. Why now is peace going out? So there was a day that she just tell me we meet. At that time that we meet, we we walked and we went. Uh, the reverend, she came with her car. We went to that place. Since me, I don't know so many places here, even in Nairobi. Even now, I don't know many because I'm not used to go. To, I'm not fan of going, moving, for whatever. I can maybe go somewhere and I don't realize where I am because I'm not used to them. Like, for example, Mombasa, if you ask me, I'll tell you this place is which one because I used to go there. But now, like Nairobi, whatever, and it's uh, maybe you are in someone's car, yeah. you can't know the place. So at that time, we went, uh, we passed somewhere, I think it is like there, Serena, and there was a very big building where we entered. 
Uh, it's a very, very clean place, good place. You cannot realize there can be a fellowship there, whatever. So we just uh, knocked the door and we sat down. Nobody was answering because people were coming in. It's like a hospital, coming in and coming out, anybody with his own problems. So you don't, even you don't cooperate with, with one another because uh, people are brought by their own issues. Yeah. There are people who are coming there to, to give back the Yamanto. There are people who, because because sometimes it expires. You have to, maybe even for you, it can get lost. You are coming to say about the mantle to get another one. Some are coming to introduce the your people there. So uh, the, the first minute I entered there, I did not see something that was very at bad. I see a very good building, smart, where we could fellowship. But there I didn't meet those pastors to fellowship. So, because at that time, the woman tell me, uh, you know, we have to call the priest. The priest is not in. When the priest is not in, we don't do fellowship. So, I say, no problem. But I was feeling something is wrong. But because you, you can, it is like you can be having a friend. And people are telling you, this friend is a devil worshiper. And you are saying, no. Yeah. It's because you, how much you hear him speaking about God, yes. about you know God, about what God is doing. It is like you, you are being bribed, you don't see. So at that minute, me, I could not realize that that, that person could take me there. So at that time, I, we waited for the priest. Priest did not come. That day we went back to home. The following day, it was on Tuesday, we went back there. So at that time, we meet the priest. Uh, and she, the woman, she's the one who entered the reverend. She's the one who entered before me. And I could hear him when I was sitting down to, when she, she was in another room. And he was asked, have you spoken to this apostle everything about this fellowship? Have you told him everything? And he said, yes. I could hear, but but it is very hard for you to hear because the, it is it just look like mirrors, like the room is mirror. You can't you and you can't hear the voice of the of the other room. Uh, she was told, "Come, go and uh, and and took him and took her here." Then at that minute, I just entered. I I, I found the priest. He was sitting there. But I forget to say the minute that we were sitting down waiting for priest, he came passing with a white cloth and a, and a black t-shirt. Being dyed, her hair were, were, were put with the dyes. He put dye on her hair, black one, and he looked like a mzungu. So he went, pop, pop, pop. That is the priest. Everybody was afraid of the priest. So I was sitting there and I was I heard that is the priest. At that moment that I was sitting there, so when the, the woman says she I know in everything, she was told to come for me. I I went alone now. I entered alone to the office and she greeted me. How are you, Apostle? I say I'm good. Uh, how is the ministry? I say the ministry. He's still young. He's not working. Still young. I am. And he asked me, "Would you like? You know, here we do promote nothing that is impossible. Here, nothing is impossible. Anything you want in life, come to reality when you reach here." And he asked me to 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 lay my hand, and I lay my hand like this, and he could lead my star. He told me, he, he, she, he just said, tell me, I know this, your star. You had a star of going far, far, far other countries and preaching the gospel, blah, blah, blah. So he said, I have a good star. Because first of all, when they want to take you, even those people who are initiated in those kingdom, mm -hmm. they look at you, you are, you are star and also for the star of your children. The children who can do well in life. They, they like to take those children. They don't look for a star which doesn't work. So at that time, they checked my star, and he just told me, you know, you will be very, very, very beautiful. Even, have you seen this reverend? We have made him so beautiful like this. We will give you, this, Yani, they will equip me with the beauty so that I will be taking a lot of men. So it was now, and I, and I asked myself, Jesus, what is this? And at that moment, that priest, when I was there, even wondering about myself, I had another lady that I don't know calling him and asking him. The, the priest said, have you, have you fired a, a man 
who has wealthy, who is very, very wealthy, and who had everything. I want his picture. Because the woman was to be made to, to be taking wealthy men. Okay. And, I, and I realized ah, something is wrong. Wani, is it this praise for, for God or is it satanic? Because I, the, the, the conversation will tell you it is not godly. So like to me, because now, you know, when you are, you are alone, you are desperate. Sometimes you see people who are be who are behind who any people who are in front of you the people who are leaders like you can learn example from them and you see them they are taking you there you cannot realize that they are devil worshippers so that minute i we entered there and he he just tell me you know nothing that is impossible here so what you have to do you have to carry to come with uh, this reverend and uh, you have to brought your mantle uh, and he did not explain me what kind of a mantle. And I have never used a mantle before that I will know it is what kind of a thing. So he asked me for a mantle, for a red carpet, and also for, for it is called what? Mushuma, candles. Mm -hmm. He asked me for candles. There were different colors. So I say it's no problem. Then I, we left the place and we have to, to organize with this reverend now the day to come. It was, I think it is, we, we only jumped one day and the following day, it was on Friday, we, we meet there, we went. So he came to my home, he picked me with his car, uh, with her car and we went back there. You know, me, Sasa, I think it is a fellowship, but now this thought has started to interfere with this fellowship now. What kind of a fellowship? How can a priest answer like that? How is it that some, because the first day, the second day, day when they were telling me about the mantle, they tell me, you know, when we are going to beautify you, you are going to leave even your husband. I was like, hey, Jesus. What kind of beautify is this now? Is it <laughs> God? Is it demon? You know, you have you you can you will ask yourself question. And then you love your husband. Yes, they they just tell me like that, and I say, hi, Stena, this place for God can be like this. You are leaving your husband now, and I remember. Do you know how I suffered getting also a husband? Yeah. And sure. now I'm going to leave, and I yeah. say, hey, and then he's the only person who to another problem, to problem to another problem. So at that time we went back. So um, when now I came to the following day, we jumped on the one day because we have to look for carpet, uh, we have to look for candles and for the mantle. So the following day we went. Uh, at that time is when we met the priest was ready and the, the woman said we, we had everything. Uh, and, but the problem when I entered in and the priest asked me, where is the mantle? Uh, the mantle, I give him a, a big headscarf. I had cut with my boy. You know, I, I because they just tell me, go and look for a white mantle. I didn't know the kind of mantle. So I went to the Thera at Gedolai and asked him, just cut me a headscarf one, one meter. So I saw that this headscarf is very big. And when I, I, I bring it there, they will not see it as a mantle. So what I did, I asked my boy, help me to cut. So my, my boy brought a, what, a, 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 a scissor, we cut, we cut with a razor, I cut it like a triangle, so I took one triangle and fold it, now it is a mantle, now the priest is here, he's asking me for a mantle, I took that mantle, the, the, the half of the, of the scarf, he asked me, is this the mantle, what are you bringing here, have you cut it, and I say yes. Because it was too big. It was not to be like a hard cut if it was too big. And they asked me, who have you cut with? Who have you hold cutting with? Now, see, you are taking your child to death. And I say, Jesus, now I am satanic. This is the place of Satan. This is the devil worship place. I just tell myself inside like that. Because how come you, you start... Uh, you start rebuking me, you start telling me, and you have not also told me, and it is a praise for Jesus. And you are telling me now I have caused my, my son death. I was like, Jesus, now, hey, 
these are the worshiper priests. I noticed that. That same day is the day that I realized, well, this is a devil worshiper now. God has approved to me. Yes. So he just called the woman and tell him, I ask you whether you, you just tell Apostle everything about here. You said yes. Now what is this? Where will you go to get the mantle right now? Because time is running. And we came out and he said, because it is the first day you have to, you have to take it easy. Take it easy. It's the first day. So we were told to go, to go back to town and look for a, a shop. Then we buy the mantle, the white, the white, the white mantle. So we went what is there. A, what is a, a mantle, mantle is, what is a mantle? A mantle is a small kitamba. It's just like this. Oh, it's just a cloth. But it is, yeah, it's a scarf, but uh, with this kind of, of, of wood. Wool, okay. It's wool like a layer. towel. It's like a towel. It's a small towel. Or the small towel that bishop pastors use. Most of them, they use white one. Okay. To maybe to deliver somebody. Maybe if they throw like this, the people will fall, fall down. down. right. Uh, maybe when they, they throw it like that, millions of people, thousands of people, they, be, they say they are delivering people with that mantle. So to me, I didn't know because I have never used a mantle before. Me, I know in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Yes. I didn't know we have to then to overtake the, the power. Then to, <laughs> to the heads come and whatever. I didn't know. So we went back to the town. We, we, there was one shop which was selling baby clothes. Uh, we went there. We, we buy the scarf, the white one. But they tell, they tell us never to bargain anything. So we did not bargain the, the katawel, the small towel. So we came back with it uh, the following day because we could, uh, no, I think maybe it is the, the next day. Then we came back there to the priest and he saw that I have everything. And he was telling me now to wait. Now, you know, when you are there, you have to be given uh, orders or laws that you are going to follow. Right. Because you want to, uh, they, they just tell me now your church is going to be big. Now so many people will be coming. But you have to know this red carpet is the, the carpet that when you you have put it in the church, uh, staff or people will be there. You will, it will be able to give you potential to take other people's stars. Because the minute they shout after we have given you the roles that you will follow, anybody who falls in the church will be taking him there. And the, because that it is, the carpet is initiated, then the star will go, be gone. So when they fall during prayer, they put them on the carpet? Yeah, when they fall, they have to put them in the carpet. And then that's how their stars are taken. Yeah, their yeah. stars are taken like that. But it is me who will make them follow because at the those mantle. candles, those candles and mantle and the red carpet, first of them, they have to be initiated okay. before I live with them. Then I have another work which I was to go and to do in the church Saturday night now. I will go and put the, those candles in there in the plate in the big big uh, a big like a big plate mm -hmm. then i will i will wear something there is a a, a colored cloth they just ask me to wear now I, I think it is black black they are all white i don't remember well but i see something like that because i didn't go to do that that thing so they have asked me to wear the cloth then i got saturday night i will keep myself there praying from 7 up to to maybe 11 11 in the morning then i left then i left 5 in the in the morning then i left the church then i wait for people now to come because i have done all my incantation there is a demon that was to come from the sea and we talk with it that night in the church. And now I will I will look for another office where people will be coming. They, 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 because the, the, the priest told me that if the people come, they will feel even to leave their own phones. Because they feel that this is the place where we want God. This is the place where we want to leave everything. Even if they don't have money, they will leave your, their phones there. So at that time, then I had to go to church and light those candles. Uh, if I light those candles, I have to mention people. I'm calling this kind of people, this kind of people, this kind of people. Then afterward, the, the, the candles have been burnt. I have to, to put them. 
to put the candles. But those candles, remember, I was to mix salt. They gave me another water, which uh, was like it is a uterus water. And I asked them, why is it you are giving me this kind of water? Because I, I, I see myself, it was not a good water. And he introduced me to the water. And he said, you know, when a woman uterus is, has been braided, we take this water because it is the uterus that carry generation. It is that that carry the, the eggs. So your church will be carrying so many generations. So you have to go with this water. The water, I have to buy two, two kilograms of salt and mix with the water. Then I arrange the nini like a close, like a close, cut the candles like a close, but I have to put salt in that big bowl. In that big plate, I put salt with that water, and then I arrange like a close. Then I have to go repeating the, the, the nini, the, the prayer that he, he gave me. So at that time, because when you are there, you cannot believe with those things until they explain to you how are you going to use them. So at that moment, they explain me and they tell me, you know, we want your church to be big. Two years, we are making your church bigger in Loiro. Yeah. You will be traveling like a queen whenever you want to go to Japan. But four years, we are giving you contract for four years. Then after four years, I have to go to the deeper because there is deep, deeper, deepest. They tell me I have to go to the deeper side now where I cannot come out. Because at that deeper side, I, they have to introduce me now to other, other level. They tell me that they are going to send men with V8 and big, big black cars to my church. But they are the, from the devil's kingdom so that they, they will take over me now. They will show me what to do and which the next step to take. But they told me that is the step now you will be able to be coming out of your soul, going to our meeting where we want us you to meet. And I say, hey, these so all things men, are very hard. Those men will be like the elders of the church? Yeah, they will be coming and people will be seeing big men coming to your church, but they have come to take me to another level. Because now um, I was in deeper, I was taking the stars of people, and it was a contract, con this contract for four years. Yeah. After four years, I have to, to go deeper so that they will continue, I will continue, they will continue to empower me. This is making to get sense. them more more souls. They say go more souls. deeper when they are prophesying. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. I so so at that time I ask about the nini. That was about the candles and uh, and water. That water. Then after I finish burning the candles at night in the church, I will dig a hole and put them there. It will now be something for me to bring people from everywhere. People will be throwing. But by here, I have to give six people to die. Oh. Six people, they have to die. Because if they die, nobody know in the church. Like mm. if you hold a church for 1,000 people, if you die and you don't know any other person, like for, for, for a church like nowadays church, you go to church, you don't know any member of the church. Yeah. And you are many, you don't know whether someone died, you won't know. So each and every time that I could have give, I, I, will, I was to give them six, six or six people a year. Then they continue to increase my church. Then after four years, it was now the time then they, I had to give my own son or my own husband. Because now I'm going to go deeper. Because now I'm in deep. Yes. I go deeper. And I realize, hey, hey, at that time, you know, you cannot talk when you are with these people. Because the problem is you can enter there and not never come back again. Yes. Because well, the, the thing is, when you are going to a witch doctor, you don't consult anybody. Mm -hmm. When you are going to a, a long place, you <laughs> yes. don't tell anybody. You don't tell anybody. <laughs> because people will say, you know, he's going to a witch doctor, yeah. bra, 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 bra. Whenever you are going to the wrong place, you don't consult anybody. So the thing was, if I, I was not to say yes in that place, I could die there. Because those people, they can even kill you. Because at th th that time, they tell me, hey, you know, we told you about the mantle. You, you didn't hear well. Now, what have you brought to you? I say, Jesus, this is what they normally do to people. They tell the people they have told them so that they will, they will ask people sacrifice. And uh, me, I didn't know. He didn't tell me. He told me only come with a mantle. A mantle, and you have never seen a mantle. You have never seen this handkerchief. 
you don't know whether it has power, it has whatever. You don't, you never know. So at that time he explained about uh, those things. If I finish with the candle, I have to dig some place in the church because my church at that time doesn't, it did, was not Nini. It is called what? The downward, it was not constructed with the, this sad. Mm. So I had to dig a hole and I put them there. So do you see this now, the remaining salt? Salt I have to put in the jerry cans, like, like 20 liters jerry can, mm. three of them. Then I put water. And you remember this water they have taken to add a cloud. And th they say it is a water that comes from the uterus of a woman, which is braided. Then I'll put them in a jerry can. Braided? Yeah. Braid, braided? Uterus. A uterus a that is... I think it's a womb. Huh? Womb, because it is the one that carry generation. So the water is kept inside this 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 uterus is kept inside water and then they no, remove the uterus or they have breaded the womb of a woman breaded of a dead woman Bra sorry i'm not understanding it breaded just braided take it and, breaded and just what do we call it well, whenever it is just like a, you take something to a to a meal like a maize ah Grinded. They have oh, grinded. So they, they grinded. They grinded that the, the, womb. The uterus. Then Until they it's particles. Mix it with the water. Ah, so yeah. you can't see those particles. You yeah. you could see the particles. Oh. Me, I could see the particles. What's but it? now, because the church member, I could only fetch the water. Then I okay. gave them. Then the water, we have to look for another small bottle, which I will take with a, a, a piece of, of my name and take them to those designers. Then they will design a, a small paper for my name there. Mm -hmm. Then it will be anointed holy water. water. All holy water. So That's they, the holy water. They grind a uterus. Yeah, a they grind woman. the womb. And then they put it in water. Yeah. And then they put in bottles. Yes. And then they put their, their stickers. Mm -hmm. And then they give to the congregation. Yeah, we. I was told to go and put three jerry cans of water. Then they will give me a man to design my name and the man that where I will get small bottles. Then I will be selling the water. You sell the water. Yeah, because I have to look for for some things which will bring money to the church. Yes. Also, so and the reason for the uterus, because the uterus uh, it is carries the one generations. That carry generation. So, yes. Oh my God. So those so are buying water. So I have to keep water. the three jerry can hmm. of water, water for for and they're even seven using days. It to cook their food, holy water. Okay. Mm. Mm. At the at they drink. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so I had to put three jerry can of water after finishing burning the candles, and that water I will put for seven days. Then after seven days is the time that I will I look for the small bottles, and now I look for a designer who will took my name uh, to a small paper, then we will just to paint it on the bottles, then it will be anointed water, Apostle Regina anointed water, and these people will be happy, hey, you know it is anointed water, I'm going to put it on a business, and the minute he put it in a business, his business is watched at a cloud, they can because see everything. it has my sticker and I'm there. That was the problem. It was a point of contact. Yeah, it yes. was a point of contact. Uh, the, now the, the, the mirrors of the devil, they have to see this man. who I have, They have carried either a sticker that come from that pastor. They go and stick to their bed. So other cloud or, or demons are watching at that person. They and even he doesn't, on their cars. The that stickers. is why some, they, they stick, they start to get masturbation, prostitution. They, they start to feel, we are not okay. I don't want to pray. And because these are demonic. So they explained to me how I'm going to use them. Remember, still, I have not come out of that place. I am still in that place. So they are explaining to me how I will go and mix this water with this salt and I lay with the candles. And after that, I, I burn the candles until the candles are finished. Then I have to dig somewhere in the altar and put them so that people will now start to come to church. So the minute now, because I have called that night on Saturday, I have called all kind of demons to come. Because they are telling you they are angels, but they are not angels, they are demons. They call on Saturday night demons. Every kind of demon, they, they ask you to call. You call demons, you call demons, they come to church. Then this demon, you don't have to come to church early, you as a pastor. You, people must come early. 
Then the, you, pastor, you have to excuse yourself with the some hours. Because if you come early, it is you, those demons who will enter. And remember these people, they want people. They want people to be manipulated with the demons. So I have to, to say that then if people, if we are starting the church at 9 a.m., then me, I have to come at 11. So that people could have come. Demon have taken their place in them. So yeah. Then the minute I shout, Jesus, with the mantle. I shout, you are going to be delivered with this mantle because it has also power. Then people will start to shout, to, hey, fall. Hey, to fall down. But, but it's a drama we are doing with the demons. And then you put them ah. on the, the same carpet. demon that I, I put last night. Yes. So not, nothing that is uh, the of God there. Ah. Then when they fall, you put them on the red carpet yes. and take their stars. Yeah, and I notice well the star is gone. I know this person will go like that. So it's the demon it that life. steals the star. Is there, it is, is the a demon. Spirit? Because there is something, because lead, lead in the in, in devil kingdom, lead represent kingdom. Okay. If any any bishop or any president, whenever they are passing in a place of honor, yes. we have to put a red, red carpet. Red carpet, Because yes. it stands for kingdoms. Kingdoms. For ufarme. Yes, yes. Yeah. That means king. That means, yeah. Kings. kings. Like king, kings. anointing. Yes. It, is that, it, it stands for that. For kings. Even when you read in the book of, of da Daniel, chapter 5, you see that uh, there is a time that uh, when David tell uh, the king about uh, the the vision, he was clothed in, in lead clothes, yes. mean, meaning kingdom. Yes. So the, the, the red carpet was to take star to people. Whenever okay. they shout, hey, Jesus, whatever, I say, you are going to be blessed. And they shout, hey, man, some mm. jump. But because there is this demon which has taken place in the, your life, in the, your body, because yes. now they have come. I was there in Saturday night, the whole Saturday, then Saturday morning. I have to excuse myself at allowed 11 a.m. and leave and go back home. Then people will start to come. People from nowhere, people, they will come many. The demon, the demon will be taking them, taking them, taking them. What, then what? the minute I come as a pastor to preach, there will be that demon, we will be doing drama with them. I know it is not God, myself, yes. I'll be knowing. Yes. But then they will be thinking it is God. Yeah. Whenever I say you are going to be blessed, I say it is over. They shout, they fall down, then, they do whatever. But we are doing drama with the demons. What is coming into my mind when she's sharing this is when they say, can I prophesy? Can I go deeper? And then they say, deeper. <laughs> yes, oh because at that time when you say deeper, you have opened your spirit. Yo. Right. The minute you, you, you come into you agreement, be quiet, mm. you, uh, yeah, you have opened, you come to agreement. The yes. minute that you say, Yes, go deeper, you have opened all your spirit, you are connecting to Him. They also say, I connect, man of God. They, no, they say, They say, I receive, I receive. Oh, oh. <laughs> so. And they explained to me about now the candles. I as as I have told you, now the carpet was the the carpet. After somebody there have just jammed, fall fall down. The ashes will take somebody to the red carpet, and that red carpet, the the his star or her star will go there. He will not go and with the star. So the demon, what they will do because now his star is at a cloud. They will continue to to connect him. To another person who is a devil worshiper, who he can hear, who he can listen to, and follow the devil kingdom. Whenever wow. he is going all over the world, whether it is another pastor, whether it is he, he will be connected to to a devil. Uh -huh. Whether it is marriage, he will fall fall into the hands of the of a nini, of a of a married man, but he is a devil worshiper. Because now his star is there. Because star is the information. Right. Star is destiny. not something the people really think that it is something which they can take anyhow. It is information. You remember when the wise man were reading the nini, information about Jesus. They were reading in his star. Yes. Because the, the star carry information of somebody. Yes. It yes. carry the information that prophetess... Uh, or oh, destiny. It was a yes. name, prophetess... 
My name is Erica. I'm ah, prophetess Erica. I'm not I prophetess remember. Yet. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe I say that for example. Yeah. Those people when they want to take you a star, they will know that okay, this was born to be a prophetess. Mm -hmm. This was born to be a, a queen. This was born to be a reader. They will take that information and give him to another person who is who is serving them, because that's what they they normally do. They take a star for for a, a man and they give it to another man. Yes. Who is working for them. Yes. So if you are not working for them, they don't see any benefit for you yeah, in they, that kingdom. They make you a slave of the ministry. Yeah, they make you a slave. So at that time when, when you are given that red carpet and the ushers, people are shouting, the ushers has to take them to the, to the red carpet and the star is gone. So uh, uh, another thing about this mantle, they tell me if this mantle, I put it behind my chair, my chair or the, the pastor chair. Even if I tell a cripple person to sit on it, it will walk away. The, the cripple will be healed and he will start to walk. It was the work of the mantle because it was to be put more demons, regions of demons to oh. come. That's for magic. Yeah, it's just like a magic, but they are demons. So whatever they do at that moment that I was there and they were explaining to me, it was allowed maybe six in the evening and it was now starting to get dark. Uh, and they tell me just uh, where is your carpet? And the woman say that uh, my carpet was there. So we just put uh, the, my carpet and we put them on, we put it on the floor. Uh, and they asked me now to put even the mantle. Then I have to kneel down to the mantle mm -hmm. and the, 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 my carpet. Yes. Then the man started to command fame, blessing me to be over more than my, my siblings, my brothers, my sister. So you're going that to, area for me to be higher. He started they, you to are command. going to shine using your siblings' uh, yeah. stars. Yeah, oh, he was the one who started to command things to happen for me to be famous, for me to be a big pastor. No church will lie before that church, you know? Yeah. So because they, they had already told me only two years, my church will be overflowing. Yes. Yeah. yeah, people will start to come small, small, gradually, gradually, and the people will continue to be more. But within two years, I will have vehicles, I'll have big things. And I say, and you know, because me, I was there, I was not willing. But I'm telling you the problem is when you die there, nobody will know. When you started to say, I won't like it. It's better. I, I, I decided now to say yes. Let everything happen in this room. Then after I come here, out of here, I don't do anything. I will accept to die or to live. That that minute, uh, I squatted. I, I just uh, I just squatted Adama Nini on my mantle. Then the the priest started to pray. I command him. I command whatever. Me, I didn't know myself. I just felt myself down. The minute when I was rising up, I was just, I have fallen down mm -hmm. because the minute he continued, I think he, 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 he was still pouring some spirit to me. And I find myself, I'm, I'm down. So that minute he tell me just fold the things, uh, don't, don't struggle yourself, there is a man who, who are there, there are ashes there, who will fold your mantle, your whatever, uh, and you have to be taken to another room where they will go, it is like a baptism room, where we, you will get water. Then when we were studying there, I saw there was something like a, a, a very beautiful woman who came. When we were there studying, like it's just a place like a swimming pool. And he gave him anointing oil, which is greenish, the olive one, the big one. So he was to touch me with the, the olive oil. Uh, and that time, remember that it is a woman who is coming on that water. A very beautiful woman. And you know, you can't ask because also you yourself, you are shaking. You know now I am a devil worshiper. And it's something you cannot tell people. They will learn from you. Yes. yes. You yeah, know, people joined. will learn. They will say, yeah, you want to kill us? And you <laughs> cannot give people stories like that. <laughs> so I decided, let everything happen now, my God. Whether it's to be eaten here, whether it is what. But let me come out with my body. Yes. The minute I come out, I won't come here again. 
So they, they, he took that oil. It was uh, the last initiation. He took the oil from that, that mermaid. I think it was a mermaid, it was a mermaid. Because, a, because it was a very beautiful woman. And Wh which uh, color? Where was this? Where, where did it appear? In a, it was in a small room. It has that swimming pool. Something like a and where was something it? like a nini. You had gone for a, to a house. To a, it was a home. Or it was a facility. It was, no, it was a big building. It's not a home. He said it looks uh. like a hotel around Serena. Yeah. Around Serena. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I, I went was... there. There was this small place that they have a small loom. It is like a baptism loom. Yes. You, you, you will be baptized there. Maybe it was the last initiation. I think that because the minute that I went there, they, they woke me up, they pulled me and I stood up. I, I could not realize where I am. So the man took me to another room there and he just uh, took the oil. There was that olive oil, the big bottle oil. And he was given and he was he was told to touch me here. The minute he touched me, I just fallen down. So I I came, I didn't, it's like I finished like 20 minutes, 10 minutes there down. I didn't know, know that whatever happened again. Okay. Because after waking up, I feel that I need wealth, I need whatever. Now I, I feel to have girls for, for, for love, you know. Because I realized that I, I need more. I want more riches. I need whatever. And I didn't know what happened. So uh -huh. the pastor helped me to took the, the nini, my my what? My carpet and my mantle and my everything that that I could use now to the church. Wait, you you had said you had mentioned that you saw a mermaid. Yeah. Like uh, kindly describe oh. how big and how How did it enter the room? It was like just a it a, was a in the pool. It is it was like a middle aged woman but very beautiful, big hair. But yes. from the the water that gave it gave the the priest because the, the minute he started doing bra of his own things, you know, the minute they, they are yeah, in cartation and they are looking at the sea and say, they are saying, come, come, mother, come. Then you yourself, you know, still you are shaking because it is yeah. something that you didn't, you, you are not prepared uh, yes. to such things. So the minute. So even he was me, calling it mother. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, when it came, mother. they did talk. No, it was me. Even you know, you, you, I was shaking. It so came it forth is something from a pool. like he, a faster, like a from, twinkle of an eye. He gave the the oil from then, the swimming pool. So there's a swimming pool there. Was it yeah, outdoor? It was, a, it's, it was. It's an outdoor. It's an indoor swimming pool. Yes. Okay. And do you know at that place there are other people that went there? They didn't come back. Th that pastor was telling me they didn't come back because something they were told to do. They they risked and do the wrong way. So the minute he entered there, he was asked to, to enter into that water. He did not come back again. So when they called the mermaid, you were yeah, in the water? It was only that pastor that knew. Okay, so you... Even his own people don't know. When she called the mermaid, you were in the water? Yeah. I uh, know I was uh, not inside the water. Outside. I was outside. Okay. okay. But the time was running, so he was asking for the oil. The minute he touched me with the oil, I just fell to the ground. And I, I realize uh, it's like I have changed to be a woman. Now I'm like a man. I need a woman. I need a woman. I feel I want wealth now. I didn't really notice what had happened. So you felt attracted to women yeah. and money. And yeah, and you like remember. The flesh was resurrected. Mm -hmm. You know when we are baptized in Christ, you die to sin. Mm. And you resurrect with It is Christ. like I was baptized to that nini. But, but me, I didn't know because, that you know, when you are there, you are still shaking. You are still crying for God for your own life. Asking God, give me another chance to go outside with my, my own body. I will serve you. Oy. And here you see things are going on. Well, these people don't know you are dying. Mm. So is this, it, this is a building. It just looks like a, a normal building. No, you can't tell. You can't tell normal, there's. Normal building. You can't even, tell there's an indoor swimming pool inside even that. Know. Even you can't know because I realized that time they have another one in Kawangware and there is another one in Thika. But uh, me, I know them. I can take you and show you. It is this. Wow. And there is a, a priest here who come to do things here. 
Okay. People don't know, but me, I know. Yes. Because I was with pe those people there. So we met a lot of pastors who are looks there. looks like a vacant the building? Part, there are some parts looks, that... She said it looks like a hotel. Is it busy? Is it a busy place? People no, coming it, in and out or it looks vacant? You you can't it, know because when, when when these rich men are coming with their cars, yes. it is something privacy. Even it is uh, maybe on the road you see there is soldiers, nini. Uh -huh. And the other thing you can't go unless you have somebody who is there. Uh -huh. you cannot Nobody enter can there. initiate you in the devil kingdom if he is not a devil kingdom. Yes. If he is not a devil worshiper. Of course. He has to, to, to have that mantle he can initiate you and not everybody. Unless somebody, somebody is there. So at this time, you know, the, I, I am giving that now the, the role which I will follow, for this, the Yamanto, the uh, red carpet, and whatever. So this red carpet, I have to go back to it and be praying three times a day, kneading, kneading on it. And you don't have to keep the mantle at your bedroom. You, you have to keep the mantle in a very good place, not a bedroom. If you keep it in a bedroom, whether you are, your husband died or your children is your own problem. So I was given some instruction to follow. Uh, I was told if I go home, this carpet and the mantle, I have to pray three times a day. They were being folded together. So I have to, to keep the carpet being folded. Then I have to kneel and hold the mantle and ask anything I want in this life. I need big cars. I need good houses. I need whatever. That was my work now. So when I was there, I the, the first day there was there are some parts which I'm jumping because of time but when we we will be let people ask question because there is a day that I will come and and and, and have some questions. good time we will talk about the part that I jump like there is a part that I jump I see so many pastors there and I wondered are uh, these pastors still men of God? Because I knew them like a man of God. And those pastors are in Nairobi here. Yeah. Wow. Some were coming with the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the one they are opening for new branches in Kenya. Wow. They were coming with them, introducing them because they want also yeah, when they open sons. the branches to be bigger, to be known all over the world. They came with their spiritual sons. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. they were there. So. Are so, these famous people? Yeah, famous pastors. I, I saw a lot of very many pastors. The famous one, me even myself, I could not realize that such pastors could be there, because even the minute that I was thinking now, I want now to come out of this thing. I don't want this devil worship, but because I have realized it is a devil kingdom. Now who will deliver me? Because many many pastors that I saw on the TV that I normally see in the TV, that I know they are famous men and good men of God. They are the Illuminatis. They are there. And, and I wondered now, when I come out, my worry was now, if I don't want to be this Okatic, if I don't want to be this kind of pastor, who will deliver me? Because deliverance was making me feel worried. Now, who will I go to pray for? Who will pray for me? And because I went there like three to four days and I met a lot of people. I see a lot of pastors and others who are not there in. They, 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 there are other friends for them that were there. Because it is like when you, you, you are in Okatic, those people, they have to know you. They are even the one who who will come and first of all congratulate you. Thank you for this brotherhood. They will never leave you like the way a Christian Become leaves a somebody. Yes. Maybe a Christian can meet you on a road and you are you are just walking barefoot and, and he had a good car. Place. He cannot carry you. These people they are very close to one another. So they are the one who maybe will bless me the first time with the big cars so that I will not ashamed the your kingdom because I'm also initiated so we could have known each other. So at that time when I, I, I realized that I didn't want and I come I, and I gave my testimony, there are other pastors who ask me not to mention them and I tell them I, I, I won't mention them. But yeah. the signs of a false prophet now, we already know they have mantles, they have red carpets, they have uh, holy water. Mm -hmm. They have those stickers that they give people. And even there are others Bandos. there, according now to the assignment, which already, according to your star, they see what kind of a ring they will, they will do for you. They will give you. 
So some of them they they have rings, but yeah. but in the nini they will carry a ring maybe in this big finger because this small finger I said the finger of favor. The other one is for marriage. The other one is for finances, security and possession. So in this finger, the big one, they finances. will wear a ring, but those rings are initiated there so You're that right. they will grow with the yasta. Yeah, one one bishop yeah. had a, a ring, and I just felt like praying over that ring when she got out of the room. The way she came at a terrible speed, I realized that that ring is not a normal ring. And she said, yeah. "Don't try that. Never do that. This is not a normal ring. This is power." I was like, "Wow." Yeah, they they um they they are made a ring there according to the star. They can give somebody a ring because they want you to pros prosper, they want you to bring more souls. But even they have to look whether, if they initiate you, whether they, you will come with so many people. They cannot take you like that because you want to enter the worship party, you you have to enter. Even the, them, they look. Yeah. What kind of a person is coming? Does he have an influence? Yes. Will he bring so many souls to our kingdom? So yes. I saw a lot of pastors and I wondered how now the world, because now the people that I I, I realized, I, I was thinking that they are far, they will, they will be my mentor. They are the one who are there. Wow. It's, it's like at that time, everybody, anybody who was singing the TV, Celebrities, yes. Celebrity, even singers, even worshippers, some even are there. Don't mm. be deceived that he, someone is a worshipper. He yes. worships the Lord in truth and spirit. Mm -hmm. And then he is a, a marine person. He will worship the same way as the people, the other people worship. But you don't realize, unless you have the Holy Spirit of God or discernment, yeah. to know this man come from this place. So they give me the, such instruction, how I will put some water and sell the water and a four-year contract. Then a red carpet was to take the star. And also I have, when I go home, I have to, to be praying, kneeling on that carpet and holding the mantle with my light hand. Then I have to command anything. I want rich men. I want men, rich men, people to come to my church. People that come will be giving anything. Whatever I ask them, they will be doing. I, Arafu, the minute that they come into my church, they won't leave. They will remain there. They will remain as my servant forever. So you have you. to command seven days. They will needing an knee on that carpet. So yes. when I went back home with that carpet, uh first day you know you know this thing i i was now to continue don't continue i want i don't want i'm in the middle the problem is i want i need these things i i feel because the minute they touch me with that oil i realize yes i need more things i need to have big cars i need to have good church i need to walk like a queen uh so when i went home then I, I sit down and I start to ask myself, now my husband don't know where I am. My children don't know. Nobody knows. It is only me know. Now, what about if I, I decide to learn away of this place? What will happen? So I took all that things. I, I take them to my house. Then I was very, very much careful because of the mantle that it it won't enter into the bedroom or be being misplaced somewhere because I was I didn't want any of my children to die. And remember, these children still even to get married was a struggle. So I didn't wanted the mantle to go to bedroom. So I have to take care of it. So I was taking a small paper bag. The, the one that people are selling now for 20 bob, then I um, and I put the mantle inside. Then I have to put it in a, in a what do we call, like a bati? Ceiling. No, yeah. Oh, in a cupboard. In a yeah. cardboard, in a, in a yeah. cardboard oh, okay. up there where nobody will get it because right. it doesn't want to be taken by anybody else. Only me for that time. Yeah. Until I, I start to work with it. So the minute that I will kneel to that carpet and uh, and I hold the mantle and command everything, whenever I go to sleep, I'll find myself in the ocean. Then I'm dancing naked. I realize it is a devil worshiper place I was. 
I am confirming each and every time. I'm yes. confirming now I'm a devil worshiper. <laughs> but this thing is not making me happy. But how will I go come out? Yeah. I'm trying to, 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 to figure if I come out now, deliverance, I'll go where? Because those, these people are the same people that I saw. Uh, you, you, are you getting what, what you're saying is making sense remember how i mentioned about a friend of mine who who was initiated by that girl the devil worshiper mm -hmm. and she found herself in the marine kingdom entertaining her family because uh, that girl had a family in the underworld and she was not 100 uh, percent human so uh she initiated a girl and she would find herself dancing, entertaining her family every night. So when she's saying that whenever she would hold a mantle, she would see herself in the ocean dancing. No, she would sleep. Yes. She yeah. would dream of yes. seeing herself. The minute yes, the that ocean. I went to sleep, yeah. I will find myself dancing naked in the ocean. She's the second I don't know where I have that. reached there. I will dance. I will call other people and I, I share a cake with them uh, to initiate them. Covenant. You, you would eat you with see? them. Ah, I, and I was feeling even I don't want to sleep. But the problem is sleep was coming to me. Yes. Yeah. This is why we keep on singing this song. I was very, very afraid to we sleep. We keep on singing this song. Your mm -hmm. dreams reveal a lot about your spiritual state. Yes. If you are spiritually bankrupt, your dreams will reveal it. That's yeah. why we take these things seriously. Mm -hmm. Not that dreams should provide doctrine. We don't get doctrine from dreams. We get doctrine from the word of God. Yes. Amen. But dreams reveal your spiritual state. Yes. Many are bankrupt. Many are suffering from... Uh, um, you know, just just they can't advance in life or things like that, and they keep on having dreams. They're in they're in high school. They're having dreams that they're in elementary school again. You know, when they were just children, keep on having dreams about that. Take it, and when they wake up, they take one step forward in life. They take two steps back. Yeah. You see, so your dream is revealing that hey, you're suffering from. Um, as uh, your spiritual state cannot allow you to advance, there are covenants involved. So, please continue. Yeah, it's very, it is very true the way that you have said the dreams. People be, uh, need to consider their dream very much yes. because I have worked for for with a queen. I have known one queen from there where I I I, I was to be initiated, yes. and. Uh, uh, that I know more about those things that you are saying about dream. Yes. Because even the word of God itself, the Bible that you do read, yes. it can take you to hell. Mm -hmm. I have come to realize that because we have stayed for with her like two years. Two years with them also my church. Because after I came here, the devil kingdom, they followed me with another queen. We have to, they, they did for up. For up. And okay. that was, he wanted now to, to, to initiate me indirectly through the word. And God told me, no, it is the same person from the same place. They could follow me because already they noticed that I, I am giving so much testimony and I'm revealing so much about them. Yes. And they wanted me back. So they wanted to initiate so you using an, the Bible. Yeah. Because I saw in the, the Bible. in the Masonic yeah. temple, they in have the Masonic they, temple, they, 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 they have, have a Bible. Bible yes. They yeah. have a Bible right there. But you see, they never bother to read it. And the scriptures they read are the scriptures that they have. They've just taken one or two scriptures mm -hmm. that support what they're doing. You know, they, they'll, they'll take a scripture that says, God will defeat my enemies. And then they, they apply that in their life and they, and they say, I yeah, God remember. is. And they use witchcraft to destroy their enemies. And they say that God has destroyed their enemies. But they don't read the rest of the chapter. They, they don't read in context. They but, just pick, mm -hmm. pick and choose a scripture that appears to support their iniquity. They never turn from their sin. They never repent. What shocked me is mm -hmm. to see a Bible there. And yet they are sacrificing children in that same place. Exactly. And there's exactly. a Bible there where they're also initiating and making a Masonic ritual. Yeah, they, they normally use uh, that is another testimony for another day. Now uh, I will continue with this. But when I came to give that another testimony about how they use the uh, Bible, because me I have I have stayed with the uh, Queen for almost two years. And the last minute when I was fighting him to go with my church, because my church also can witness, they, he started to sell dragon into me. I could not sleep for two weeks. 
because they wanted to kill me kabisa kabisa saying that you know you are, means completely yeah, completely yeah, completely for because Western already audience. i have i have so known a lot of things in the kingdom they have tried me this way to give me wealth and i have re refused and now they have come they have said that they are they are queen and uh, i am not ready even to go and i have seen what they have done so in my dream they were saying that i have uh, stolen a lot of maize and i ran away and you know maize is spiritual it is like just prosperity yes yeah, and so uh, it is it is a lot of things and uh, i understand because people are not very aware of the your dream they don't know about the your dream the your dream talk about your life it's a spiritual barometer yeah, of yeah, your life yeah, yeah. Yes. so they have to take care very care of the your dream so at this time now whenever i i was see, seeing myself naked dancing in the ocean now i don't know what to do and one day i sat down like four days it was like i i it was on tuesday then i had to go to church on saturday those were wednesday thursday friday i have to to pray those three days with the carpet i don't have to take it to church then on saturday i have to do to go at saturday night and sleep there doing incantation so these three days i were i was just praying on that red carpet it is the time that i was seeing myself in the ocean dancing doing whatever and i decided now what will i do my husband don't know this thing uh the minute i i reveal to my husband i don't know whether he will throw me away and at this time i don't have parent i uh, who will i tell this thing now, uh, the other thing i was wondering now who will deliver me because the pastors are there who will i go to for deliverance so it gave me a lot of worry and i was like i don't know where to go but i decided enough is enough because now if i start to sacrifice people it was not my will now to sacrifice people me i did not want riches if it is riches i could have even i the minute that i was with which doctor i have could, could ask them the way but now it is the church the work of christ no i decided i will i collected those all things i put them in a in a sack and i put them in the storehouse they are in in those room where 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 i was employed with my husband we were given one room to live but that room had its store so i just took everything mantle uh, the red carpet the water the whatever the candles i put them in a sack and i say this i'm not going to use but i'm not going to throw them away because i was afraid <laughs> i see yeah, if they call me and ask me well, why are you not using our thing i say you <laughs> i won't come again there out of the place so i decided i will take them and i don't talk and i become silent why let me tell you the minute that i took them to the stop where well, it was just like one week a past my husband work gone down people those who are coming to church they didn't come everybody you hear pastor i'm going to this place pastor my mother had got me to the village you know a church when you have 10 people or 15 people and everybody has his own issue i have gone here i have gone here yes. so i was left alone now i don't have a member of the church because they want now for me to do it be desperate to be desperate so my husband husband he was just been told that he has taken some money from the the company he was he was a caretaker of the house so he was told that he was given some money by some of the people and he ate but me i'm sure we have lived there for six years he had never taken anything yes and he he was being paid like seven thousand each and every month I think I think it's seven months. So he was even taken to to jail. I was left alone now. I'm wondering now. This is the church. These are the children. You know that place that I'm told to come out. I don't have a school fees for my kids. Uh, I don't have food. I don't know where to go. Now the things I don't use them. So they 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 just persecute me to be desperate in all the way. They tried their best. My husband now the case was was getting big each and every day. I say we give two million so that he can come out. Two million. Me even I have never seen even five hundred thousand. Two million. Where will I get it? Surely at that time. 
100 cash it's it's until god came with angels for you to see 100,000 then somebody telling you pay 2 million for your husband so i just say anything that is going let it go but i am not worshiping the devil no matter what i am ready to die and i was very very much prepared to die and I came to my sense and I realized I have done what, what was not good because of joining this woman. And he tell me it is a fellowship and it's not a fellowship. Then the minute I called the woman, he tell me, you know, it is a simple thing. How, how, how do we survive? We, we normally survive. Now you see, you could be called a queen, a, a, a big pastor, a big apostle. Now you are refusing, it's your problem. And I say me, I'm ready to leave everything. Now my husband has been taken to jail. Yes. Uh, I am left then the owner of the house is telling me move because if your man stole my money you even you move I don't have any place to go oh. my home I don't have a parent so that I will go back home even a home itself it doesn't have a house for us and how many children did you have by do you have with your husband yeah this time I have a two a two two of them I get married with the one but now we are I have three kids because I have a small boy and a small girl seven years and five years they uh -huh. are very small so at that time remember the, the my small boy was just breastfeeding and i am out i don't have somebody to support me this is a story you cannot go and tell somebody you know something gone wrong because i did not enter into good devil kingdom yes. you don't know how who to believe who to trust with the, such stories so i just became quiet and i decided now I will continue to work, so I have to take my children to daycare, and then in the at daytime I had to sell insecticide for twenty bob, ten bob. Another thing is they are still throwing demons into me. Any time that I I sleep, I could not sleep without drug. Oh. I'm telling you the truth. Yes. It's better we talk the truth. I could not sleep without drug. Yeah. Why? If I sleep without this drug, I'm just thinking to die myself, even to throw myself to the nini. To go and look for somewhere that is up the house, then I, I throw myself down. Why? You don't have parents who are there to care for you. You are brothers and you are sister. Even they don't believe that you get saved. They are saying the same prostitute. Don't give us, don't tell us something of that woman. There is a day that I just ask my brother, can you only feed to my children? so that they won't sleep like that. They tell me, we are ready to buy you a casket. Even for our mother, we buy, but not about you. And I was like, is this people? <laughs> so at that time I could have, I, I, I used to go and buy, I don't know what it is. It is co called Kubel. Kubel in, in Nini. Kuba. Yeah. It's a the, drug. The, there is a drug that you put uh, in your mouth yeah. and then you feel steams. So I could buy, yes, I, I am a pastor, but I can, I, I, at that time I was buying because nobody to, to encourage me, nobody know my problem. People are looking at you, they are laughing. They don't know the kind of nini. And I decided and I asked God, Father, let your will be done because me, I'm ready for anything. If they take my children, no problem. If they take now, my husband has gone. He, each and every minute I stay, he, he call me. Hey, you know, here I'm going to die. If that bra bra bra, if I, you are not going to send me money here, they will they will sodomize me. And I say, now what do you want me to do? The same amount I'm getting 300 per day. I send it to the police. They take one. 100 they give my well, husband if, if 200. you don't give him money he'll be sodomized yes. in police yes in the in the cell oh. they do sodomize because now they will do what they are only men so you have to pay for those 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 another guy that are there they have lived for a long time you have to pay them if you don't pay them with the money you they will sodomize you now it is your husband being sodomized you are there you are thinking about the now the demons are coming. There they are sending demons. The minute that I sleep, I see lady people with the lady clothes, black clothes coming with big swords, big knives coming to kill me, and nobody to pray for you. Because the people that I saw there are the same pastors that I can go to them. So there is one pastor that I decided now, let me go to this pastor because this pastor i have not seen him there so it was on i think on friday i just call him he, he just tell me come 
uh, the minute that I went there, that pastor is the one who asked me, you, you are very much foolish. If you cannot do that, do you know what we are doing as ministers of God? That is what we are doing. So you are very foolish. It's better you be a member of the church and be tithing rather than being a pastor. Because that is what all of us we are doing. Now you are running for something that we are doing. And I was like, oh my God, is this the place that I wanted to go because of hell? I decided now I'm, I'm already to, I, I am ready to lose anything. Even I just, I just known that this year, that year now, the year that we were now, I, I noticed that this year I must die, my children must die, my everything is dying. And I, I decided if I die, let me die, but in the army, but... I won't exchange anything. I get another power. I didn't know the power where it came from. I went to the, to the it is called Kataroni Prayer Center. And I prayed for one week, praying, praying and saying, let your will be done. Now, uh, if, if this is done because I don't worship the devil, let me know my God. I want to know the God I serve and the God, I was calling now the God of Elijah. And yes. I was saying, I will prove to them, even if they take my soul there, I will tell them I won't worship you. And I was very much ready to tell them. Right. That man is the time God delivered me himself, not men. Yes. Not yes. men. Yes. <laughs> I struggled looking for somebody to deliver me. I didn't get any man. But God himself, I say, want to see the God of Elijah. Yes. The God of fire. The God, if if I cannot worship the bad, I am going to die. I want to know it now and today. But I have decided to die. I will die for Christ. But even they, because I notice these people, sometimes they can take you even with your soul. And I decide even if they, they take me to the queen, I will say, I want to worship you. And I die fighting for Christ. That is the time God, God saved me. At that time, I, I, I just said that I feel that now my mind is, is okay. I, I, I faced, at that time, I faced a lot of things, like two years, one year and a half, a lot of things, a lot of intimidation, persecution. Threats. People, threats, uh, because now... How many years ago was this? You are, eh? How many years have passed since your deliverance? I think it's uh, allowed three years. Okay. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Glory to God. Welcome. Amen. So it was like that, but we overcame all because I, I did pray in pain and I asked God if, Father, I know it was not your will to, for my husband to be in jail for now. Stand as a judge. Stand as a judge in his case because I know you well. So at that time, the, at that time there was, it, he just finished like two months. Then they, they, they decided that if he doesn't pay some money, he will remain there. So it was for a, a moment, for some month, that we talked with the, the owner and he said he can come out. So he was casing outside. At that time he was casing outside. My husband know I'm a prayerful woman. So every time he was going to case, he was asking me, I want you to come and pray for me because I'm going to court. I told him, I finished the case. Kitambo, I have it's finished the ago. case. <laughs> me, I don't know about it. If you are going, we are not going. Me, what I know. It is finished. So the, there is a, a time that he went and he was told, no case. Oh, and we give God. God all the glory. Till now, we are still proceeding on with this life and also the ministry. But uh, you know these people, they, what I know, they keep watching. They keep trying to see where I am. So have you burnt those things? And trying to, yeah. At that time, I, uh, the, I met another woman of God and we just burnt them. But it is not a, a famous person that you know. No, that, that he just hold me. We played together. We walked along together. Yeah, and she's a very good woman. Even now, she had a church. It's the time she has started her church. Uh, I think like one year ago, two years, two years ago. Uh, she was. It is those people that you cannot realize they are woman of God or men of God. So I'm um, there at Loiro. We are just proceeding on. Although sir, sir, there is a time now, I'll come to give a testimony. They send another queen 
to come after I, after they saw me on the TV I have given my testimony I have talked about the mantle about the anointing water the anointing oil uh, they sent another one another ma another woman to come and try me and this woman come in the name of fame I want you to be famous I want your church to be bra 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 uh, I I am the one who make people do this 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 you know and I realize and I ask God and God tell me listen to him then you will learn a lot more than the one that you left there we learned a lot with the church we have learned a lot but to come out it was a problem yeah. to leave the woman and to tell them cease from coming it was a problem because it was to send some dragon that were appearing to me like a, a human being, but it's a dragon wanting to kill me. Some asking the, the members of the church where is Apostle. We want him, we want your Apostle, we want to kill him. But I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. Me, they cannot see me. They have made me learn a lot. And, and at this time, even if whatever happened, because you know there are sometimes they want to bring you challenges. Even now they are bringing me challenges, like where we have built, we, we, we have a church. The church is in my home because I sometimes, you know, when we are a small minister and some of the people, they don't support you so much because nowadays it is big pastor who are supported. So like me, we, I, there is a place that where I, I, I lent my house and also is the same place where we have the church. So at this time, you know, the, the owner of the of the place is saying that he's, he wants to move. He wants to build a big flat for Lento. So you know, you know, you have now to migrate and look for another place for the church. And the church is maybe one room, even some land, it become a problem. But me, whatever I have tell God, because now I know my husband don't have job since at that time. Because maybe he doesn't know English well also is not a learned man and maybe the work he can do is la, 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 just like a normal work not the work that require offices on something of lighting he cannot do that work so i am a mother i do support my ministry uh, and i'm also a mother and a father in my home uh, let me they say that for this time but i said even if anything come i am not leaving jesus me, I'm very much lady. Even the time that I was coming here to give a testimony, I was feeling to cry and ask, ask, I was asking God, God, why are you allowing me to go and give this testimony? Well, you know what I'm passing through. Sometimes I see people coming for me to encourage them. Me, I don't have somebody to, to, to lean on, somebody to tell my problems, somebody to cry to. I do cry to God, do you understand? And at that moment, I'm still praying for people. I am still thinking about how my ministry will work, where we will get a lot, build the church. Sometimes you don't have even somewhere to, to locate the church. So that are the, 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 the things that I have been facing. But I, I, I'm still proceeding on and telling God, even if I will remain without no church, and I get somewhere to preach, even if somebody call me to preach, also I'm a worshiper. I'm not a pastor alone. God has equipped me so much with so many things. Uh, like in worship, I can lead the worship. I, and I tell God, let your will be done. Because if I get somewhere to, to, to if, if somebody feels that he has a church, he can call me, I preach. But I preach the true gospel. Me, I don't want money. I don't want any payment. Because what I want is to preach the, the real gospel, the true gospel. Yeah. And I have decided whether now we are going to go naked with my children, with my husband, with, and I am very much ready, but I won't leave Jesus. Sometimes even, you know, when you get saved, you, are, you know that what you are fighting for. Sometimes you feel even to die, people don't understand. <laughs> you don't feel anything good in the world. People who have, been, who have settled in everything, that they, they see it is good to live. But me, I don't see whatever will make me live. Sometimes I tell God, come, we go. Because of what? You, you are trying. You, you, here, you know Christian, to Christianity, it is very hard for them sometimes to, to, to understand the pain that you are getting through. But I have been uh, going a lot of pain 
in the ministry. We, because some demons, you, are, you, you see are these people, they are just trying to follow where you are, to destroy your ministry, to see, to see that you don't have somebody to support you, to see that you are not, your church is not growing, you know. But I thank God for everything and I have decided no matter what, because there, there is gift that God has given me. I, I am not a, a prophetess, but if I look into you, there is something that I notice. This man has an ABCD. I can know what to do because it, I'm gifted. I'm also a worshiper. I can worship even in tongues. I, 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 I thank God. Even you can put music, we can sing together oh, because I know God has blessed me with it. Like it is a, in worship, I, I can do well. Also in preaching, in teaching, God has equipped me. Also in some of the revelation of prophecy, uh, I can do it. So me, I'm not going to go back. Let's hold hearts together, my sisters and brothers. Because ministry, if you are not called by God, it, 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 we have a small chances of get, getting back. If it is not God who called you, yeah. if you don't know what you are doing in the ministry, there are a lot of tests, a lot of temptation that can take you back. But we are saying no to them, we are proceeding on. May yeah. God bless you till next time, as I come to narrate about the, the queen and how they were following me, following me, and God will bless you. Yeah, and before we'll, you, you we'll definitely have to have you back. Yeah, before you conclude, what is that something that you experienced uh, along this uh, occultic, uh, whatever, mm -hmm. that you can never forget? Something that you saw, that you feel, this one, I can I cannot forget. God just had mercy on me. No, what I experience and how I notice things is people are walking very much brightly. They don't know they are they are ministers in the church. What they are doing underground. Yeah. So if they don't know, they are taken. They some they, they even give the tithe. They are taken to the devil kingdom through the tithe because the Bible say where you are. Your treasure you, is your treasure is your heart, heart. also will be there. Yeah. If I'm a devil worshiper and you are treasuring in my my altar, mm -hmm. then it means we are connected to you. You yeah. are also a devil worshiper. But you will hear people people saying and and accusing others you are devil worshiper. And also them, they are devil worshiper, but they don't know. They are antichrist. They are blind in the is. other way, but yeah. they don't understand, they don't know. So what I have come to realize in in, it is for people to to be aware and somebody to 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 seek for God. Want that have that want, have that nini, the need. You need God more than anything because if it is, if if you don't have God, you won't start. You will go to church. You won't know the pastor. You won't know the bishop. You won't know whatever, and you will be connected and you will not know when what to come, how to come out, or what to do. Yeah, then how to come out? A person whose star has been taken, mm -hmm. I know they will ask, what do they do to re to revive their star? Because I know many of them are, have fallen victims of those false prophets. Mm -hmm. There are so many ways to, to get your star back. Uh, like to me, because I, I'm telling you, I have lived with a queen mother for now for almost a year, two years, something like that. I have lived with a queen mother and I know how he was doing things. And still, uh, me, it is me that Jesus, God told me, Cont go, don't refuse this woman. I want you to learn whatever you did not learn in the devil kingdom. But he won't touch you. He won't know you. He won't know who you are. He, he won't know who am I spiritual. Because already there is a level that God has taken me. So I lived with this woman. But the minute he, he could take another person in the church and say you want to walk with, with the, another lady, then I will tell the, 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 nini, the member, this woman is bra, 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 bra. If he tell you something like this, don't just call me. Yeah. So there is a, a girl that I gave to her, and the woman tell the girl that the girl is still a, a virgin, and she is saved, and I have mentored her up to the point that she can prophesy well. She can speak to God, she can do whatever. So the minute that she tell me, yeah, I want you, I want to, to mentor this, you are, you are ready. 
bra 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 i see she's a good i, I tell her where you have to know this <laughs> is a queen from the other side are you are you getting i say, say yes then after they continued like one one week you i noticed that the woman tell the nini the girl that she was to be taught how to to have sex with by the angels at night and the girl has to wait for the angels to come to her house and i tell the girl have you ever had such a thing in the universe god the kingdom <laughs> people telling me that we have been taught in that bible, kind of things by angels in the bible the, the bible talks about the angels uh sleeping the fallen angels fallen yes angels. they yes, came and took wives angels. of human women mm. and let me tell you that the girls saw the angels coming they were black men very black with a black nini bui bui and a, a red capanti inside they were looking at her but because we were very much spiritual we do pray mm. we do pray we i have we i have mentored them how to pray how mm. to destroy how to do what they they, they 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 walked into her house but did not see the girl and the girl called me apostle you know what we were talking about now they are here what do i see bride them and we start to bride them <laughs> and the woman was like what is your problem i'm taking even one person you don't want me to continue with him then he wanted to kill me that time is the time that i, I i'm telling you that they they used to send me dragons i could see dragon in my house reality i didn't sleep for two weeks now fighting again for the church not to go because at this time they were coming now you know uh, even if you did not want her to give the members of the church you can give your husband uh you can give us that queen wanted now my husband wow solution wow. is pray amen. it is pray amen amen and, and I, i thank god because god has won my battle yeah and we am we am proceeding on well because even it was not jesus i could not be here testifying but he has fought for me very many battles i thank him for everything amen and man i know it's a it's a vicious battle the earth is a battlefield It's not a it's not a party scene it's not a place to live casually this place is a battlefield now i see from your testimony and the testimonies of other men of god people rush into ministry telling you don't do that thing i see the word of god tells tells us the secret but it's hidden so you have to study it meditate on it and then the secret comes out In Mark chapter 3 verse 14, Bible speaks of Jesus when he was picking out his disciples. He says, "And he ordained 12 that they should be with him and that he might send them forth to preach." But first the first thing is to be with him. Please, ministers, young ministers, and I I myself am, am one of them. Don't rush to grab that microphone to stand in the pulpit and preach you standing there is a declaration of war on the kingdom of darkness and if you are not properly regimented for ministry if you are not prepared for that thing if you have not learned the kingdom principles by which men function in the kingdom of god if you have not known him who has called us if you have not known him in the secret place if you have if you have not become a priest in the secret place you will be pulled out from that ministry by desires by wants of necessity because of poverty because of lack because of situation circumstances scenarios they will manipulate they will they know how to program you remember she was she would hold the mantle she would kneel down on the carpet and she would declare what she wants right what is she doing she's speaking to those demons to program them to tell them what to do and they're going and they're doing it all right in the kingdom of god there is a right way to do things all right witchcraft sorcery all of these things they are counterfeit spiritual authority that is counterfeit spiritual authority it's like you get a it's like getting a sony made in china you know it's counterfeit that's counterfeit there's the real deal and then there's the counterfeit things all right 
witchcraft, sorcery, th seeking God's power through another way other than through his word is counterfeit. Any type, any kind of approach to God without approaching him through his word, you are counterfeit. If you do not approach the things of God through his word, you are a counterfeit. And it's only a matter of time before the counterfeit is revealed, before the powers of counterfeit begin to pull you in. Because they know if you try to approach God without approaching him through his word, you are a counterfeit. He said, the one that comes into the sheepfold without coming through the gate, coming through the door, he said, the same is a thief and a robber. And he said, Yeshua said, I am the door. He said, man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So as you are with the Lord, he said, be with him that he might send them. He might send them. But he called them first to be with him. So don't let your hunger be for ministry. Let your hunger be for him, because if your hunger is for ministry, the enemy can grab you. He can offer you ministry. You can get the crowds. You can have a mega church. You can be the next Joel Osteen. You can have everything. What, what, the de what does the devil not have? He has central banks. He has the Federal Reserve. He can print money and, and, and nobody will ever know there was inflation. All right. So he called them to be with him, be with him. Don't even desire ministry. Desire him. Stay with him until he decides to send you out. And as you are staying with him, he will teach you things that will make you unstoppable. So I don't rush for the pulpit. It's a declaration of war. And if he has not promoted you to that place, you are declaring war on beings that are more powerful than you. They are senior to you in rank. So you cannot just approach. You cannot just jump into the pulpit because you have zeal. Discipline the zeal, first and foremost. Be with him. Learn him in the secret place. He's the one who said, man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. All right. So for everything you expect from God, there should be a, a, a scripture that you're standing on. Are you believing God for a house? Okay, great. What scripture are you standing on? Wealth and riches shall be. Okay. Are you believing God for a closer relationship with him? What scripture are you standing on for that closer relationship? He said, as a deer panteth after the water brooks, so my soul panteth after thee, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? You see, that's, that's in Psalms chapter 40. So there is a, a scripture for everything you expect from God. Now, if you do not have a scripture for something you're expecting from God, you're trying to get something from him in a counterfeit way and it won't work. You can be in ministry for years suffering because you don't understand the principles of the kingdom. The kingdom works by the word of God. Man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So if you're believing God for a house, there's a, there's a scripture you stand on for that. You begin to meditate therein day and night. That's why he said, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. It shall not stop coming out of your mouth. But you will meditate therein day and night night that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success so he has given a direct prescription for your success your day must begin with meditating therein day and night so if you tell me the scriptures you are standing on that you have committed to memory that you have programmed your spirit man with that you have memorized because of the amount of time you spend in the word of God, then I can be sure that you are standing on the right principles and that you are expecting something that is written in his word. I know you got it from him. But if you do not have those scriptures in your heart and your mind and you're expecting it from God, the same is a thief and a robber. You're trying to get things from God in the wrong way. You're rushing into ministry because you want to be big. You want to be a star. Satan has plenty of superstars. He steals stars from the children of God who are in sin every day. They come to church. These people were coming to church not knowing that they're coming into sorcery, to tithe into sorcery. Their stars are being stolen. What's happening? They're coming there for blessing. They're not coming there oh, because Lord. they seek him. Remember, he ordained 12 that they should be 
with him. Not so that he can bless them. Not so that he can promote them. Not so that he, he can give them mega ministries. It's, it's not, there was nothing like that. Be with him first. Learn him. Get to know him. This is called intimacy. You get to know him. You learn him. You see, there's generals in the field who kill, who, 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 who fight, who are men of war. They're great. They're, they're, they're great men of war. But then there are those who stay by the king. They are like secret service. Them, one man, can kill three, four hundred of them because of his zeal. Why? Because he loves the king. He's not like the generals out there. You can say, God has, God can use anybody. Don't just, don't just say, use me, Lord, use me, Lord. God can use, God can turn a rock into a servant and that servant will serve him faithfully. But God has few friends. You see how many people out there are using him? You see how many pastors out there using him, using his good name, using his ministry, using the system of the church to extract stars and destinies from people? Be with him. First and foremost, forget ministry. Sit down. Be with him. As you learn him, he will make you strong. The scripture says, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. You wait on him until he makes your spirit man strong. Then he will empower you. He will give you the mandate and he will send you to a specific place to do a specific thing. The way the power of God will flow, you'll be amazed. But wait, don't, don't rush into this thing. Be with him. Just wait on him. People leave him alone and they go to preach. He didn't send you. Why? Wait. That's why you, they go to preach and they're swallowed up of the enemy. You're not at that rank yet. Grow. The throne is established in righteousness. So be strong, first of all, in righteousness. Be able to resist the devil when he approaches with a million dollars. When he approaches with $10 million, can you resist? If he takes hold of one of your children and says, do this or I'll kill your child, do you know what to do? So be with him. He has things that he has to train you in first. Learn how to defend the home. Learn how to keep his commandments. Learn the secrets of kingdom prosperity and kingdom provision. Because by the time he sends you, you will already be financially strong. Then he'll send you. So that you don't start ministry hoping that people will come in and give you offerings. You see how she started? What was she saying while she's kneeling down? I want men to come in, who, rich men. I want rich people to come in. What was it about? It was about offerings. It was about giving big offerings. It was about tithes and offerings and getting and big cars and jeeps. It wasn't about personal relationship with the one you love. And that was the major violation. Now, as you continue to meditate therein, first thing you do when you wake up in the morning, go straight into the secret place. That is your prayer closet. Open your Bible. Put on your worship. Start worshiping. Start praying in the Holy Ghost. Just grow from that place. Don't leave that place into ministry until he has built you up. If you leave, that means you've gone out ahead of him. Remember, as many as are led by the Spirit of God. So it's not by might, it's not by power, it's not by, it's not by your ability to preach, it's not by your knowledge. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. So you must be led by him. But if you run out in front of him, oh, okay. So you know how to do it. Go ahead. The way the enemy will play games with you, toss you to and fro, make a fool out of you. That's what he does. He makes people, he makes a fool out of people. But does God raise people up? Of course he does. He and you'll find that they begin to meditate on his word like Psalms 113. He raises up the poor out of the dust, lifts the needy out of the dunghill, that he may set them with princes, even with the princes of his people. He makes the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. Why do I know that scripture? And why has that scripture shown up in my life? Because these are the things we were meditating on years ago. We were meditating on these words. We were repeating these words. Blessed is the man that walks not after the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law does he meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree 
planted by the rivers of water that brings forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also will not wither and whatsoever he does shall prosper. How come I know the scripture? As I spend time therein. So I have to ask this pastor, what's, what, what scriptures is he standing on? What scriptures are you believing God for? Because the, the only way you can get to know anyone is by spending time with them. So how is it that this person wants to launch into ministry but cannot even declare the scriptures he's believing God for to show up in his life? And, how, and what will you teach the people? There must be intimacy. There must be closeness. If you launch out into the deep without him, you will drown. <laughs> Wait on the Lord. Sure. The scripture says, have you not known? Have you not heard? Have you not, have you not understood that the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, faints not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He gives power to the faint. And to those that have no might, he increases strength. He said, even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men will utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall walk and not be weary. They shall run and not faint. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. They wait upon the Lord. They do not rush into ministry. I would rather wait on him until he says, okay, now go. And I wait. Then he says, then he sends a prophet. He said, the Lord has said, go. And I wait to make sure, Lord, have you said, go? Because I am not going out there without you. Moses said, if your presence go not with me, do not send me. Don't rush this thing. You're not going to win this battle by your own strategy. This is a heavenly strategy going on. <laughs> you cannot win this thing on your own. This battle is thousands of years old. You're, you're fighting against beings that are older than humanity. You want to rush out to be famous? <laughs> what you're saying uh, is making sense uh, to me because one time we were invited to come and minister in Kenya and I came with pastors who had titles and they had uh, given their their biography. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a graduate in this. I, I did theology from, from, from this country and, and I'm married and I have how many children and I, you know, they, 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 they like titles and I was seeing the bishops, the reverends and all that and we were all going to minister in the same conference. So when we arrived, everybody was quick to be put on the program, like ministering program and I was like, okay, so now we've come for ministry, but if there's no opportunity for me to minister, I'll just go back because these these are men who are having titles. Everybody's positioning ever me first. If you, I need to minister when when everybody's there in the morning, they they select the the best time, you know, so that they can get more doors, more openings you know, more connections and all that. So it's like a competition. And one of my uh, relatives who was a bishop told me not even tell anybody that we are related because of my testimony. It will discredit her credibility, her ranking, I don't know how. So I was invited to minister at the end of the conference. But in the meantime, I was praying as like, God, if at all I have to minister, it's not the microphone that I'm fighting for. I want you to speak through me because without you, there's nothing I can clearly do here. Everybody's anointed. Everybody's a man of God. Everybody's great. Everybody's this and that. But they invited me to, to minister. I was given 10 minutes as they are closing the conference, the whole conference. And the 10 minutes ended up to be two hours and 30 minutes. And I stayed there and I started ministering. So one thing I have learned in ministry is if you seek God, God will introduce you before great men. He will be your voice. You don't even need a microphone if you have God. Those people who have microphones and they don't have God, they can shout however much they want to shout. Yeah. But where there is God, people will know that here there is God. So it's not about the microphone. It's not about the titles. It's not about the, the, the stage. If Jesus is number one in your life, he will introduce you before great men. Look at the pattern of the scriptures. He came and found David tending the sheep, just being with the Lord. 
There he was worshiping, he was learning worship songs, he's spending time with God. He said, wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. That's why I keep on talking about the strengthening of your heart, the strengthening of your spirit man. God's word strengthens the spirit man. Let's say that that uh, that vase is your body. Then this silver and gold is your spirit man. And then this is your soul, okay? That spirit man of yours that's in the middle, it must be programmed with the word. It The word must enter therein. You must sow the word of God. That is a farm. Your spirit man is a farm. And the word is the seed. Jesus said, now the seed is the word of God. All right? So you sow that seed into your spirit man. And what is going to happen? You begin to see that those things you have been programming your spirit man with will begin to show up in your life with patience. Mm -hmm. Be ye followers of them who through faith and patience have obtained the promises of God. People want to rush into ministry because they, they're hungry. Yeah. Don't go into ministry because you're hungry. First of all, go and do it. Go and do another business completely. And while you're at that business, like you are selling whatever you're selling. I was doing the same thing. I was selling. I was, I was in sales. I was selling water filters. I'd, I'd go from point A to point B, sell water filters. I don't, I, but, I, but I know I have not sold my soul. Hmm. Nobody can, no devil can make a claim on me. Yeah. This is way before I met Erica, but I was in the scriptures. I was also and that's where I, and that's where I, that's where I learned, blessed is the man that fears the Lord. I was meditating on these things I'm telling you about that fears greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever. Unto the upright there arises light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. What was I doing? I was programming my spirit man with the right stuff. Because if you don't live like this, you'll be sucked into the world. If you do not live by his word, he said, man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So I, I promise you, every day you wake up and you're not meditating in God's word, you don't have a scripture that you're meditating on, you are living in disobedience. Because he said, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. This is every day. Because people are in sick situations. Without God, you are sick. And the word of God is medication. And the prescription is that thou shalt meditate there in day and so you have to show me what scriptures are you standing on for your ministry? What scriptures are you standing on for your healing? What scriptures are you standing on for your provision? What scriptures do you stand on for the safety of your children? What scriptures do you stand on for your longevity with God? What scripture describes your relationship with God? What scripture describes the whole of your Christianity? What scripture is that? I can tell you just right off the top of my head. Galatians 2.20, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live through the faith of him that loved me and gave himself for me. That is a scripture I'm standing on. I have approached God through the right way. Now. If you are finding a man of God and he's just speaking blessing, bless, you shall travel nations, you shall be blessed. Come and sow a seed. Come and kneel down. Get your deliverance. Get your, get your star restored. There's no star, there is no restoration of stars without the word of God. First of all, you will repent. You will repent for seeking things other than seeking him, rather than seeking him. And, and let me say, I, I was very shocked because after, after God worked, during that conference at the end, this same um, bishop who had told me not to tell anybody that uh, we are related ran at the pulpit and said, by the way, something I did not tell you as I was ministering, she's my daughter, we are related. And I was like, wow, you know, what is the motive of serving God? Why are we serving God? Is it for status? Is it for recognition? Is it to please God? Is it to win souls into the kingdom? Now that uh, God has used me, you want to now, you know, I, uh, I, I, I was even surprised now they are coming to talk to me. They are coming to take uh, pics with me. And I'm like, wow. So everybody, 
is serving so, God, but so we, we have different motives. There's different motives, but you know, in Africa, because of the abundance of poverty, because of a deliberate financial system that keeps people in poverty, because African economies are extraction economies for the extraction of raw materials, so they keep it like that. The central banks, they Satan knows what he's doing. He keeps the poverty as an ongoing project. He's it's deliberate. So, even when you and I were in the slum, we were in we were in Chiraku, yeah, but we weren't rushing for ministry. What were we doing? Every day, what was I listening to every day? I'm listening to the word. I'm listening to pastors who teach God's word. I'm listening to God's word. I'm listening to scriptures. What am I doing? I was feeding my spirit man with the right content. Because what you feed your spirit man with will show up in your life. People are living in abject poverty, but they're in scripture, but they're in ministry. That tells me, okay, first and foremost, you have not learned the first thing about ministry. You personally have a personal relationship with God first before you start ministry. Sit down, learn God first. Get God's word into your spirit, man. If you need an English Bible, if you need a Swahili Bible, if you need a Kikuyu Bible, if you need a Luo Bible, whatever language you speak, if you need a Russian Bible or a Japanese Bible, whatever the language is, but get it and meditate therein until your spirit man is equipped with the right words that will begin to program your life. And he has a beautiful life programmed. Oh my God. Oh my God. We have become a wonder. We've become a wonder. How? It's, it's, not, by, it's not by might. It's not by power. But by, his spirit. but by his spirit. And his spirit is the author of the word of God. So, as you educate your spirit man, as you meditate in the word of God, you're programming your spirit man. This is the secret to life. Because if you do not live by this, you'll be forced to live by the systems of this world. You'll be forced to live by luck. You'll be begging and, and pr you, most of your prayers will be begging God. You'll be begging and begging. I can't remember the last time I've asked God for money. I don't ask him for money. I don't do that. I know the proper way. When I was a child, I could go to my daddy and say, daddy, I'm hungry. He would go to the kitchen and make some, something for me to eat. But now when I grew up, when I'm 12, 13, 14 years old, if I go to daddy and say, daddy, I'm hungry. He says, you know where the kitchen is. Mm. Go and prepare, go and make yourself a meal. Mm. <laughs> you understand? So now that you have been saved for some time, we don't ask God for those things anymore. Save. We go to his word yeah. and, we, and we begin to meditate on his words. And we sow his word in our spirit. And then through faith and patience, we obtain the promise of God. Yeah. That's the right way to live. That's the kingdom of God. Seek if you don't first. Seek, seek ye first. If you don't live by this kingdom system, you'll be sucked into the world. The circumstances of the world will pull you inflation, instability, politics, whatever happens, whatever the devil pulls, he you will be subject to the systems of this world that enslave men. They make men slaves. You'll be saved 15, 20, 35, 40 years and still struggling, still living in a minuscule, defeated life, yet calling yourself a minister when God has a prescribed way that everyone in the kingdom of God should live. Man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And if you don't live by the scriptures, you'll live by the systems of this world, which corrupt men. It is a system of corruption. Every financial system in this world is a system of corruption. It is corruption and it is designed to corrupt men. So without God's word in you, that system will suck. It is a vacuum. It will pull you in. You'll find yourself involved in corruption in one manner or another just to get by because of circumstances. So the way you rise above that thing is man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. The Bible says Isaac went out to meditate and he lifted up his eyes and behold, the camels were coming. Well, who taught him to meditate? Abraham. And he was meditating on what? Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave to his wife and they too shall be one flesh. And after a while of meditating on those things, who was coming on the camels? Rebecca. You see, I don't go looking for things. I know where everything is kept. <laughs> I don't go looking out for, I don't do those things. I stay right here, program my spirit man, enter into the place of prayer, worship, glorify God, love his presence, just love being with him. And in the concentrated presence of God, 
Declare the words that will be rising up in your spirit as you're play, praying. It will be the word of God. You will be declaring scriptures. You will be declaring the word of God. And I'm telling you, those things you're declaring at that altar in your secret place will begin showing up in your life. That's how men program their lives. It's priesthood. But if you don't do this, you'll be sucked into the world. And that's why I encourage men and women of God, this is how you live. This is it. This can, this can deliver Africa. This can deliver the whole world. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. But they want shortcuts. He said, if you won't come in through the, 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 the sheepfold by the main door, you don't come in by the gate. You come in some other way. The same as a thief and a robber. I see thieves and robbers all the time. Look at the, the, the Christmas time. The, the Santa Claus is coming down the fireplace to come into the house. But he didn't come through the door. What did Jesus say about him? The same is a thief and a robber. Amen? So if people grasp this thing, you can flourish in this life. Then you can I've, flourish. I've also learned that as you minister unto the Lord, men, many souls and hearts are touched. So you minister unto the Lord first because he's your master, and then everybody will be blessed. But if you minister unto men, the Lord will not be blessed. And that's yes. when the enemy comes in. Yes. So minister unto the Lord first. As a priest, yes. be accountable to God. Let your motive and your intentions be made clear and known to Actually, God. Actually, God, God told, and the Bible says, and Elohim commanded Moses, he said, tell Aaron that uh, uh, consecrate Aaron. They shall be priests unto me. In the priestly office they shall minister unto me in the priestly office so our job is to minister unto god we don't minister to people we minister to god we are we are priests we have been called to minister unto the lord and then after we have ministered to him and he's well pleased then he begins to break forth among his people and to meet them at their individual points of need, which are as diverse as there are nations. We can't possibly know what everybody's going through, but he knows. And he knows how to deal with every unique situation with a tailor-made solution straight from the throne room. Amen? So, with those few words, men of God, young um, ministers, men and women of God, just even if you're just a believer, Beware, do not try to seek God without his word. If you try to approach God without looking for shortcuts, constantly just looking for the man of God to pray for you, as opposed to having a personal relationship with your Bible, with God in the secret place, you're always looking for someone else. Her. The enemy has, you see, you, you hear her, her testimony. Yeah. The enemy has plenty, plenty of agents that are posing as men of God. He said, the scripture says, and even the devil himself is transformed into an angel of light. That's what it says in the Bible. And Yeshua said, in the last days, there shall arise many false prophets. How many? Many, many. Then he said concerning the way of life, he said, broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many there be that go in, that, that take that way. But narrow is the path that leads to life. And few there be that find it. See, don't seek blessing, seek the blesser. Don't seek his hand, seek his face. Find him, learn him. You'll be amazed at what he has for you. He told Abraham, I am your exceeding great reward. I am your shield and your exceeding great reward. The reward isn't a bus. It's not a bunch of stuff. The reward is him himself. That's the reward. And Amen. I just want to take this opportunity to thank Apostle Regina. Thank you. Thank Share. you for coming. You've helped Your very testimony little. is so valuable. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. You are very much welcome. And I thank God for today. For if it was not God, I maybe I could not be here. And also for the battles that He have fought for me, and also for the ministry, and also this I know it is an eye opener to many. May God bless you so much, and may Amen. God promote you physical and spiritually. 
in Jesus mighty name amen amen so if you've not given your life to Jesus this is a, a wonderful opportunity to give your life to Christ. yes you can just pray with me and you can receive Christ right now Say Father in the name of Jesus. Father in the name of Jesus. I've heard your word. I've heard your word. I believe that Jesus. I believe that Jesus is your son. It's your son. That he died for me. That he died for me. On the cross of Calvary. The cross of Calvary. Wash and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Wash and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Make me a new creature. Make me a new creature. I believe. I believe that you raised him from the dead. That he raised him from the dead. That he is king of kings. That he is king of kings. And lord of lords. Lord of lords. Mighty God. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. Father, Father, the, Prince of Peace, the Prince of Peace and of the increase, and of, the increase of, his government, of his government and peace, and peace there, shall be no end. there shall be no end. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Write my name in the book of life. Write my name in the book of life. Blot my name out. Blot my name out from the book of death. From the book of death. And make me a new creature. Make me a new creature. Show me where I can be baptized. Show me where I can be baptized in full immersion. Full immersion in water. In water. And I will be a new creature. I will be a new creature. Give me godly friends. Give me godly friends that can help me. That can help me to grow quickly. To grow quickly in these last days. In, last days. in Yeshua's name, I pray. In Yeshua's name, I pray. Amen. 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 Also, if you want to bless any minister that comes on this platform, you can check the description box. I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I remain Erika Mukisakimani, aka Mama Maisha or Mami Zion in Zef. And I'm Baba Zion. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and honor and majesty and power from now, henceforth and forever. Amen. Erica, part four, death, hell and heaven. The continuation of the Erica testimonial series. One day as Erica traveled from a crusade in Mitiana, Uganda, she had a terrible motorcycle accident and died. What Erica saw is so eye-opening that those who read about this encounter experience revival and a newfound resolve to serve Jesus with all their hearts, minds, and strength. Find out deep mysteries of life as you read and be blessed in the name of Jesus.